Hi everybody and welcome to Knocked Conscious. I'm going to play this episode in its entirety, but I had a quick correction before I played it. Uh, I mentioned a gentleman named Matthew Ward, who I said was Eddie Van Halen's guitar tech. It actually turns out it was Matthew Brook, not Ward. So I apologize for the uh, misspeak and I hope you enjoy this episode. Enjoy. I'm really dumb. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing now Cause I can't hit a simple record button (laughs) When we start the podcast now we have to start all over again So uh, welcome Welcome again Hola Take two Take two So we just exchanged some birthday gifts We did exchange birthday gifts Even though it's October and this is being released in November And our birthday was in September But the gifts were on a slow boat from the Czech Republic. From the chicks. Yes. Check me out. This sounds like a horrible idea. What time you want me, sir? <laughs> I saw your picture shirt of the shirt. It's it hilarious, says, right? Awful. What time? <laughs> Christopher has gifted me two of the most beautiful gifts I've ever received. Coffee mugs. A white mug with black block writing that reads, I hate being this sexy, but I'm from Czech Republic. I can't help it. That one's going to have It's amazing because the grammar is wrong. It doesn't say I'm from the Czech Republic. It says I'm from Czech Republic. True. So and there's no punctuation. Right, but but it's funny that it <laughs> it sounds like a, yes. a person from the Czech Republic. I hate being sexy, but I'm from Czech Republic. Right. I can't help it. <laughs> I forward to looking for my mug was Czech on it. Have you seen coffee mug, dear? The mug second number mug. two is in contrast a black mug. So we've got the 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 lightness of the force. And the dark side. Yeah, the Darth Vader mug. The Darth Vader mug. Says. Reads, Prague, check me out. Check you out. Check me out. But check is spelled? With the Z, not the C-H. And a C-H. Yeah. Not a C-K at the end. Yes, no no case. <laughs> no checkings. Thank you, sir. You're that welcome. That is beautiful, man. I'm really grateful. And my gift was an amazing Van Halen concert ticket from October 15th, 1991. With a Van Halen guitar pick signed by Edward attached to it. The concert ticket price was $22.50. Which would have been $842,000. Front row would be $9 million. million. Brought to you by Ticketmaster and Q102 Philadelphia. Philadelphia. This is very thoughtful, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. And I will frame it and I will attach it to a wall in my crib. I know how much of a fan you are and were. I mean, you still are a fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... Regardless, but I feel like that will have much more meaning in your collectible, in your world, than it will in in the myriad, in myriad of my collectibles or my myriad of collectibles or whatever. It's just really cool that we both went to the same concert. Yeah, we went to the same tour, but just in yeah. different cities, and yeah. you know. So I told you the story, right? You did. So, if I may expound one more time, no. the son, uh, my mom worked at a catering company. The owner of that catering company, her son was a musician and moved out to L.A. years ago, back in the 80s even. I think he has a song that's on one of the 21 Jump Street TV shows. Wow. You know how you have like, you know, you get, that was like his claim yeah. to fame. Like, it wasn't like an actual radio hit. Right, it's one of the but songs it was one on the of the show. songs. Yeah, that's what I hear. And uh, in that time, he became Eddie Van Halen's roadie, personal roadie for wow. all that time. Like guitar tech? Guitar tech, absolutely. He was the one coming out tuning, whatever. Wow. So uh, he is actually... Allegedly, the story that I have is he is the one who has the drill from the pound cake. Uh, during recording, one of the one of the monitors or speakers blew, and he drilled out. He was drilling out one of the monitors or one of the speakers, and that picked the the thing picked it up. And they're like, we need to put that on there. That yes, yes. So allegedly, that's what he's known for. His name's Matt Matthew Ward. He comes up. I'm not going to dox him because he's awesome. He comes up to my brother and I right before the concert. He goes, "Here, guys," and he just drops a handful of these picks. That's fantastic. Eddie Van Halen's guitar picks. You know, they're electronically signed or digitally yes, signed with that plastic, yes, yes. but it says F-U-C-K on it yeah. for the tour. It's got his name on it. Those are the ones he throws out, this, the thing that we just got a handful right before the concert. Totally awesome. Then we booed Allison Chains off the stage. It was Allison Chains? It wasn't yeah. Faith No More? It was Allison Chains doing okay. Man in the Box, and we're like, Eddie, Eddie's <laughs> like, fuck you! Boom. Walks off, throws the mic down. Allegedly, it happened multiple times. And I think Philly started it, though. Because Of course we, you did. We always do. You booed Santa Claus. No, Snowballs is Santa Claus, yeah, my friend. Whatever. You just knew. And right. Jimmy Johnson. You, well, he and deserved that, it. But well, Santa? True. But he, did you see the Santa He was a little had? drunk. 
Yeah, but he was like 28 pounds and like they just threw some cotton ball in his face. I'll show you the Santa later. He'd be like, no wonder they tried to put one over on us. Okay. There was Philly outrage, bro. All the outrages. And Philly's already outrageous. Yes. So welcome to a not conscious. Sir, thank you for an awesome birthday month or two months now. Two champion. We've totally stretched tambourines. This out. We've had uh, dinner for four at a really nice yes, restaurant. All the fishes. We've had presents galore for months now. Yeah. And the f- okay, I'm putting this up tonight, barring a heart attack before tonight. Don't say that. I'm just gonna. What am I gonna reverse jinx it? This episode will be published with a specific date, and guess when that date is, sir? November 6th. Do you know what that is? 11-6. Uh, th- uh, it's a Friday. It's a Friday, three days after the election. Thank you. Okay, it's after the effing election. The so we are. Election. it is over, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever happened, happened. We have no idea, nor do we fucking care. Well, Actually, we do care. I am but, concerned there could be a hanging chad. Oh, there's definitely some ding- dangling, dangling chats going on. <laughs> there's some dingleberries. Ch- Chad was dangling, but uh, other people are hanging. Yes. So we decided to do this one because we started a four-part thing on the century of self. Yeah. That we're going to go back into part two, like in a couple of weeks, I think we're going to put that out. Correct. But in the meantime, this one came up and has gotten some traction. Yes. And you and I... As social media morons, I don't know another way to say it. Yeah, uh, sadly, that's accurate. SMM. <laughs> I don't like that title, but sure. Right. I don't. Well, we can't say that other one. Well, don't, it's. Yeah. I mean, that's unfortunately that's true. Yeah. So we are definite, definitely on the back end of the power curve when oh, it comes real. to yeah. social media. So how I have been promoting our show is looking up people who have pod the word podcast and recommendations. Oh my Twitter. god, you're giving away your secrets. Yeah. Oh my I might as well, because everybody's doing it. It's not like any different. All the cool kids are doing it. Well, I figured it out, but I reinvented the wheel. No one told me, but I just like, this seems like a smart idea to do. And then people yell at you, and it's pretty cool. But anyway, <laughs> somebody will go, can someone give me podcast recommendations? To which I will respond, hey, we have a podcast. Please give us a try. We have a million different types of topics. We're at 37 episodes already when this is being recorded. So by the time this will be out, I think it's in, it'll be like in the four. It'll be over 40 at least. So we have a and obviously, you know, you and I know you've been here personally. You've seen how many topics. I'm we pretty discussed. sure I've been here. For Welcome to Tangents like all of them, but like four. Yeah. So we've done that. Right. So I tell them and then some people are like, so promotion, bro. And you're like, bro. You asked. I, I didn't just, I didn't text you something in the middle of the night. <laughs> Lindsay Robinson. Oh, still. Actually, I've got, may I? Because I've got two. No, you may not. Tangent number one. Would you like to hit the dive horn? It's a little purple guy right there. I'll let, I'll let you play with it today, Chris. <laughs> just let it, let it go. Man. I Easy, know. I bro. was trying to have some fun. Oh, have a little more fun. You got to do it quick. I didn't know that I could do that. DJ Woodsy. What? Chica, chica, chica. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, no, but you're going to tell me anyway. Uh, of course I'm going to tell you anyway. Okay. Thank you, Ricky Schroeder's thumb. I get an email. Well, first of all. An email? Not a text. Oh, a text. I'm sorry. It's a text. Last night. First of all, some people think my name's Sabian. Because they text me Sabian, and I'll explain that you one get in the next text. more than one tape Sabian text messages? Oh, yeah. Like Nick Sabian? Because someone... <laughs> yes. He's also a person. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, he is a person. Trying, You're trying. a genius. Tongue has been clearly oh, bitten <laughs> off, my friend. <laughs> Blood! In this case, my name is Mark, so that's good. It's always good to address the person you're texting as their actual name. Well, that's, that's so kind and thoughtful. So, Mark, comma... Mark Kelly wants to take your guns, exclamation point. Protect your Second Amendment rights. Vote for Martha McSally for U.S. Senate. Reply stop to cancel. So I got to do fucking work? Don't tell Fuck me. you. Don't tell me what to do. First of all, you're yeah. not the boss of yeah, me. Yeah, first of all, you're not the boss of me. Would you, like, would you like to read the response? I think you'd enjoy it. <sighs> Dear Lord God. I, I'm, I, you don't have should to. I be, do should I be worried? I think you read it before. I think I already sent I, it to you. I think I, I think I know what it says. This is a good one, though, right? Okay, do you want me to read it? I'll, I'll read it. Read it. Okay. The other one you don't know, so I can't wait for you to read that one. So check Mark's response to the person that wants 
Martha McSally to win for U.S. Senate in the state of Arizona was, quote unquote, if your wife was shot in the head, you'd probably have a different perspective about guns. Do you see any text after that? No. I was trying to open a conversation, right? Like, wasn't that an opening? <laughs> well, well, that's I, a valid point. I mean, it's a valid point, right? Look, Gabby Giffords is who we're talking about. Yeah, the congresswoman from Tucson. Gentleman went down there on a Mark rally and shot Kelly's her in the head. wife. Yeah, Mark Kelly's wife. Which I think that's why he's running, is to help to kind of not take over for her, but... The, the, Bridge the gap? Well, she's challenged, right? Can she? She still is missing some faculties, isn't she? I don't know all the details of her health. She got shot in the head like twice. Yeah, it was so, bad. At least once. It was bad. She was critical, like had to relearn how to do pretty yeah, much Yeah, she couldn't walk. Yeah, couldn't yes, walk correct. Anything. Um, And, you know, this this Jamo just texts me out Jamo. of the blue and tells me my guns are going to be taken away. So I reply that way. What's funny is, you know whether I'm a gun advocate or not, but do you think this person has any clue? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know why? Because they just read my response. It says, if you're wife was shot in the head you'd have a different opinion i bet you if megzi got shot in the head i'd have a different opinion about the gun that was used of course absolutely so you know th that kind of blanket wants to take your fuck from the guy the one race and I, this isn't political this is just human right the one person who wants to help who's gonna do it and his wife was a direct result of gun violence as a politician and he thinks he can make a change how could you see anything wrong with that? Has he said, has Mark Kelly said anything? No. About gun control? I've or? not seen a single thing about. I mean, I haven't really been paying attention. No, but it's Arizona, right? So we're a gun toting nation. Yes. So State also. Right. Well, nation, state. We're kind All of that our own shit. little thing in our own little weird way, right? Yeah, we're a gun friendly state. Yes, sir. Yeah, unfortunately. Red. Okay, so here's the next one. What does this have to do with today's topic? Is it's on social media, kind of. It's a little tangent. Well, this is after the election, so I can dump this. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I want, I've been wanting to talk about these things that I've been getting for a while. Okay. But I can't do it before the election because I didn't want it other than that one person. Yeah. Of whom we spoke. So here's a better one. Hey, Sabian. That's my name. Sabian. S-A-B-I-A-N. Yeah. It's Emily, a volunteer with Stand Up America. Mail-in ballots in Arizona are being sent out. It's time to get ready to vote. Have you received your ballot yet? Reply stop to unsubscribe. Once again, hey, Emily, don't tell me what to do. Um, first of all, you came at me. My lack of response should make you stop. How about you stop? No means no. <laughs> Would you like to check out my awesome response? Were you, well, you know, you were dressed kind of slutty, dude. So I was, I was, I was asking for it. Yeah, I, I, I you know. The little, little midriff showing. Little, I had the shirt tied off. halter top. I had the shirt tied off the top. Catholic my, school girl outfit. With my Speedos. Yeah. With my banana hit, hammock. Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> with my banana hammock. Uh, so the response after being told called Sabian, by the way. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <laughs> Checkmark responded, how do you expect mail-in ballots to be reliable blah, 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 reliable when you text someone the wrong fucking name? Thank you. Question mark, exclamation, question mark, exclamation, question mark, exclamation, exclamation. I'll do three. I'll do three. Thoughts? Uh, Those are both valid, right? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Hey, next, next. Can whenever, I start calling you Sabian? Please do. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and Megzi doesn't know. Have you ever heard what a Sabian is? Do you know what it is? No. It's a toy for women. Shut up. It's basically a saddle that you, that with that, that sticks up and goes. It's like so a large, really large. Uh, a vibrator? A, a very so large a electric shaver on top of. So a it's saddle. a saddle with the vibrator? Yep. And you basically climb it and it. Watch those videos. No, no, you, yeah, you'll be, you'll be like, Did wow. I ever? Do you want me to tell you that story? Yeah, please. So, um, well, wait. You want to hit no, the dot? No, we'll do story time later. Um, they are really on a tangent, which I love. I need to um, replace some backpacking equipment that I gave away to a friend, and uh, m the portable stove that I have. I uh, wait till you put your drink down before I tell you what it's called, because you're going to spit everywhere when I tell you what it's called. It's called Pocket Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, I would have spit out my soda if you yeah. had not told me to so, swallow. And I've, I had one many years ago, and I really like It's very small, and the little... Um, That's what sil- pocket rockets are. Bro. Hey, now. Little silver blades fold out, so you can put a pot on top of it, and the pocket rocket... Um, Spins right onto a gas canister. Yeah, like so one of those propane so it's mini It's very propane. small and slender, and it fits in your backpack, so you can save weight for backpacking. I love it. I was not aware that there's other things also known as a pocket rocket. <laughs> yes. And so on Amazon, I was like, pocket rocket. The first three things were the. <laughs> Check where it's going to lose it. The first three things were the backpacking thing. We need to get back to video. The other 92 things were not backpacking stuff. I'm going to guess. They were all pink, and they were all lady pleasurable thingies. Wait, I think they were just large or small back massagers. No, they all, Amazon, all, they all said. Toys, pleasure toys. Yeah. And I was like, holy crap. I had no idea. Isn't I can't believe you didn't. Well, I guess I wouldn't expect you to because know what I, a pocket I, rocket was. Well, because I knew pocket rocket as a device that I used for backpacking. Right. Because I had one before. Right. And I was looking for another one. I didn't know it was a, you know, a pink pleasurable thing. Which one do you think came out first? To get the name? Probably the backpacking one. Those sons of bitches, man. Not not them. The, uh, the people who stole pocket rocket and repurposed it for women's pleasure. Sure. I mean, I don't have an issue with women's pleasure. No, that's not. Of I'm not. not. The, the, we the love pro- that. The product should exist. That's not one. I think it just needs to be rebranded because you can't have a Coleman pocket rocket. Or have I don't a, know if it's Coleman. It's not probably. Not no, Coleman. it's MSR. MSR is the brand. Right. Okay. Mm. Well, you could have the pink rocket Ooh. instead of the pocket rocket. I'd like that. You've got a crotch rocket. You have a crotch rocket and a pocket I, rocket? No, I don't have a crotch rocket. I, I have like, a pasta rocket. Because it's Italian. Oh, it's Italian. Should we move along? Sure. What are we talking about today? Oh, well, I was going to ask you that. Okay. So as we were talking about, I think before I realized that we didn't hit record the first time. Yeah. I was about talking about the century of self. Yes. Oh, yeah, we were. So we we covered part one a couple weeks ago, and we're going to do part two, three, and four later, probably a month apart. Yes, sir. We're not. That's not, we're not on, we just want to open people's eyes to stuff. We don't want to talk about the same boring shit all the time. It's kind of. We want to talk about new boring yeah, shit. Yeah, new boring shit. That's I our love specialty. New, new boring shit is my favorite. Yeah. Like, especially like two hours, 38 minutes in, right, right when it hits. And then we just, you and I just bash each other with, <laughs> with sticks at with the coffee end With coffee cups. <laughs> Do not break my chick, my cook, my mugs. <laughs> I want my bird. Okay. Um, so we're talking about uh, Century of Self, which will you've heard the first part of this, and it's basically how we became consumers in the two in we the, human in the beings, 19th, yeah, in the twentieth century. And we're going to talk about that. We'll get to that because this will obviously be out after that. But social media is a big part of this thing that humans have become now. So something about this came up. It was popular on Netflix. And what is it, sir? What are we talking about today? The social dilemma. And what does that entail as a whole? Like what's general, how would you explain, like if you were to synopsize just the, what it's about. How social media, Twitter and Snapchat and Facebook and Instagram shape the human psyche. Yeah. So that we become addicted. Humans become addicted. To the to those tools. Right? To the apps. Those things that were tools at one point are no longer tools. They're like drugs. Correct. Yeah. Okay. That's Is that exactly. an accurate synopsis? Yeah, very much. Okay. Mine was more like you and I, you and I see things much differently than others like we, for the most part yes we've mentioned this multiple times yes we are very human there's no doubt that we're human we have human tendencies but we have this different side of us that looks 82 steps past the step we're at to see potential pitfalls down the road yes you're in telecom so, i'm in other stuff <laughs> it right sure they tell you one thing and you're like immediate your hand goes up and you go in 38 minutes, this switch is going to turn off or whatever. Yeah, you know, right. You know exactly right. because you take that idea and you work it out in your head somehow or on paper. However, yeah, you, you see what's going to happen because what, of yeah. what you're looking. 
Yes. Everyone else just fucking does. No. And I, I know that's an everything, no one kind of statement. I don't like absolute, but for the most part, people in organizations of all companies don't look, don't want to look far ahead. Remember I told you about the guy with 140 plus IQ. He's an IQ in the mid 140s. Right, right, right. And I share with him about how DDT and all these pesticides have worked their ways to the poles of the earth and how. And he looks at me and goes, don't tell me that stuff. I don't want to know. And that hurts, man. We've got a guy who can solve problems with the intelligence level that he has, who's unwilling, not unable, actually says, I'm not interested. Right? That's a smart guy. He, the average IQ, I think, in the United States is like, I know IQ is not the end all be all, but it's like 97 or 98, I think. It's like the average IQ in the United States. He is 50 points higher. He's 50% higher than the average and half the people are below that. And he doesn't even want to look at the problem. So my hands go up, man. We don't, we want to be better. Not all of us. Well, that's the problem. I think we all do. And I think we're, we're afraid that, uh, but being better is work takes work. Absolutely. And it takes away from your family because you have to take time away from your family to work on being better. You take time away from your work to work on being better or some, some portion of your time has to be readjusted for this improvement portion. Right. But no one wants to do that because they're so locked into their schedule. Right. I got work nine to five blinders kids to this. I got right. Distractions, right? Soccer practice work, you name it. Well, it's easier. It, yes. It's at, so much easier. Easier to be distracted. Just right? to go through your life and 2.5 kids, right. white picket fence, right. and not see the things around you. Yeah. And that's where everyone else seems to be in our world. When you and I, that's why we started this, right? For the most part, you're correct. Not everyone. We right. know. There are people like us because we actually have people who, first of all, thank you to everyone who's listening. But people who listen to us are like, yeah, they, you you bring up something different. It's not better or smarter or whatever. It's different. It's just yeah. something that no one's thought about. Right? right. So this one is, this is a big problem though, right? You and I, it, if you and I put out the model for how we're going to make social media, I think you and I would have seen this problem coming. You think? So we're going to, let's get, let's get into it because it's kind of uh, interesting. So basically social media, it starts out with a quote on the on the screen yeah and it's on netflix we're not gonna we're not gonna spoil or anything we're not gonna tell you something you don't know but the quote reads nothing vast enters the life of mortals without a curse and it's it was sophocles or at least that was it was credited to sophocles and the second i read that i was like oh fuck this is not gonna go well (laughs) what did you think when you read that because that's the first thing is just well i think it's the fact that this that that was written thousands of years ago in an in an ancient language, but yet it's true today. That's 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 disturbing. That tells me that humans, we've come so far, and we haven't gone anywhere. Knowledge we're, without wisdom. We're just we're in the same little tiny. We're all walking in a little circle. We just have air conditioning and jets and Wi Fi. Yeah, it's we're dumb. <laughs> we're we have knowledge and not wisdom. Yeah. We are, we are smarter, quote unquote, with the smartphone in our hand, with the technologies that have been provided to us, with running water without lead in the pipes. Great. Yeah. Awesome. But that other side of it, right? The humanity hasn't caught up. So that was, that was the first thing that stuck out to me. Um, and it was crazy, too, because really early on, I think that, you know, they, they were introducing people, right? They had people from Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, Mozilla Labs, Firefox, Twitter, uh, president of Pinterest, previously director of monetization at Facebook for five years, Twitter, head of consumer products, co-inventor of Google Drive, Gmail chat, Facebook pages, and the Facebook like button. The like button. That's crazy. They had the guy on. The guy from the like button came on. That tells you how big of a problem this is. Like, he is single-handedly credited with like. Yeah. And he's on this thing. So it tells you how important this really is, in my opinion. Uh, and I agree, or I wouldn't be sitting here. Oh, yeah. So 
Uh, and then there, there's this one guy when working at a place, he fundamentally thought that they were a force for good, but he doesn't know if he feels that way anymore. And that's scary when you're like, I fundamentally thought we were force for good. And not that he thinks they're bad, but questioning that, chipping away at that, just right away to me is telling. Yeah, I, I agree. And then came the question, man. It was, I think they showed three people's reactions. They said, well, what's the problem? It was very early, right? In the, yeah. in the documentary. What's the problem? And immediately one word came to my head. And we're going to talk about it at the end of the day. I want to talk about it at the end of the podcast because I want to get your like fresh take on what it is. I haven't, we haven't talked about this since. Correct. Um, but one person smiled. The other person like put his head in his hand, started scratching his head. Like what the fuck? And the last person chuckled and you sit there and I'm like, I have the answer. Cause you and I, we see it from a different angle, right? So then they go through. So let's talk about this thing. What did you learn from this pot, from this uh, documentary? Nothing. Okay. Nothing you didn't know. Correct. Okay. So tell me some things that you know that might be an epiphany to others. Cause they're not always looking in the direction you're looking. Um, I already knew that I, I've already seen s- news segments in the previous years that, Social media is a drug that it's a dopamine hit when you get a like or you get a heart on Instagram or you get a whatever the other ones are. It's a reaction that your brain, it's like, it's like chocolate. It's the same exact reaction in your brain that happens when you have a piece of chocolate. Cocaine, chocolate, sugar, all those things. So that's disturbing that chocolate and the like button have the same reaction in the human brain. That that that's that that bothers me. That that's what's happening. Is it crazy that humans are such social creatures? I mean, because we, we are, are. Yes, we're so social that a necessity like a food item gets the same hit. To your point. You mean like if someone takes a picture approval. of their sandwich and posts it? You mean like that? No, as an approval. Like the an actual piece of chocolate gives you the same oh, reaction. Okay. I sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. That approval of someone, someone else's approval gives you. That's terrible. It's kind of scary because the first thing that I think about is, well, what happens if they don't approve? Like what? What's the, and I haven't seen, like, we've only seen those dopamine hits, right? Yeah. I've never, I don't know. I mean, obviously we've seen suicides go up in accordance with these types of things, right? And we'll talk about that. Yeah. Emotional with the, with the issues. Women issues. Uh, once social media started, but, um, that's scary to me that very, if, if approval gives you a crack like response, what does disapproval give you? How detrimental to development is disapproval. And then I look about our childhood and we're not going to go back and be like, oh, uh, but we had different childhoods, man. You and I had different Very childhoods. Very much so, yeah. Than each other, but we also, but they were different than others well, in a lot of but, ways. But too. in the, t- you know, growing up in the 70s and 80s, there was no smartphones, there was yeah. no, it was completely different. But my point was, my point is, how wrong were you all the time? I don't know if your dad ever said you were wrong. Oh, yeah, all okay. the time. That was that was my life, and I'm sorry if my mom's listening. I love Ugh. my parents are amazing people. My parents are amazing people, but it was really hard in the culture that I lived because it it not didn't have to be the right way or the wrong way. It was their way. Yeah. So even when I knew it was right, like Mark, do this math problem: one plus one equals, and I put down two because I know two is right, but it wasn't their right. No, it's two point one, you know, or whatever. Okay. In their head, yeah. You know, everything felt so. I look back at my life and all the disapprovals or the feelings of that and like how that impacted me and how you and I are in our mid forties and just started doing this when we could have done this 10 years ago or whenever. Like, right, right. I feel like I allowed myself to be marginalized by that cultural upbringing. So I can imagine, imagine you put up a picture like they, there's a girl that puts her picture up, right? On the yeah, show. Yeah. And I say girl because she's under 18. I just don't yeah, know. Her. Very 15, young lady. 14. Yeah. Whatever. She's like taking all different pictures. She's deleting them, trying to get the perfect picture. She gets like, oh my God, you look gorgeous. You look great. And then it's like, 
hey, can you do something about those ears? And it just took away all that positive. Mm-hmm. And then there were tears. And then there were tears. And then, you know, and then they went into the suicide rate, for example, with the women, young women and how it's, it's up 170 or 152 165%. Some ridiculous number. Um, the thing's only an hour and a half worth watching. And I'm pro- we're probably going to jump around a little bit. But um, what's crazy to me is they talk about three portions. You have engagement, right? Getting you on the thing, growth, and then advertising. And to tell them that they are the product, that the, the, the thing that we think is the product is actually the advertising product. It's like backwards. Like we used to, right, used to advertise a product to sell. Well, now you're, you're advertising to get those people to go to you. It's, a, it's different. Very much so. And there's no other, is there another business model like that? I think they're starting to all kind of go that. I don't know. It's a good question. Well, is social media the first business model of this type? In an advertisement way, yeah, yeah because there's nothing been before, right? It's not like someone, their example was like, you and I are on the phone together back in the 80s. Yes, right. We hang up. No one follows up with an advertisement call or no one's behind there trying to keep us on the phone together. Yeah. You know, there's, there's stuff at play behind. And what's crazy is we talked about, we did the AI thing. The algorithms, right? They even said in this show that they don't know what they do. <laughs> Did you do you remember that? I part? do. It one time it'll put you in that feed, and the other time it'll put you in that feed. In feed A or feed B. And they don't know which one it's gonna put you in. We talked about it getting out of the box. It sounds like it's already out of the box. And we haven't even looked at it its impact if it starts to have its own ideas when it rewrites itself. I mean, it's rewriting itself now. These are this machine learning that they talk about. Yeah, is basically the same thing that Alpha Zero thing that I told yes. you about. Yes, I it learned it. against itself. Yeah, and it taught itself, and every time, the first time, yeah, okay, the first time it's going to get ten flat earthers that believe that, right? But then the algorithm gets better. So yeah, you you don't it sends flat Earth to everybody, right? And only three people click on it, right? What gets better? It learns. The next time it throws out some crazy conspiracy, it'll get 10 people to do it because it'll find a way to entice you to click it. Yeah. And once you're in, you're kind of in. A lot of these people, you've seen people's minds change and it's like, it's like uh, its own religion in a weird way. You know, these, some of these philosophies. Um, But, uh, so we're watching this thing. What are your thoughts as you're watching this? I mean, uh, to your point that you had just now, several people, several experts mentioned that AI is already, it's not in the future, it's now. It's already happening. It's already underway. It's already being run by Google and YouTube and Facebook and every social media company because they are, it's intuitive. No one used that word. That's my word. It's intuitive to to. To say, oh, oh, you like Dr. Pepper. You like this video about Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, we're going to put the next video up that is kind of about that. So we're going to press autoplay for you. And that's going to suck up your screen time. And then YouTube does it. Facebook does it. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's AI is already, it's already doing it. Yeah. Everybody mentioned how AI is a massive part of this. Right. And, th- and that's what's funny about it, because they talk about starting it, and they're like, the intention is not evil. There's no intention. Right, right. But then, as people engage, it learns from the engagement, because its job isn't to make things good. It's not to make the world better. It's to maximize screen time. Yes. Attention. And in doing so, maximize dollars. Yes. Ad revenue, yes. ultimately. What I found interesting, there was, was it the Facebook guy? No, it's a Pinterest guy. He talked about how much people admired Google because they had this ultra altruistic, beautiful side that there was real charitable and whatever. And then parallel ran this for profit. And it was crazy that they're like, we admire that they could do both. I don't remember that part. Yeah. It was a little bit earlier. It was the guy with the gray t-shirt. Yeah. I remember the guy with the gray t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, um, it was interesting. I would have watched it again today. I, I want to watch a couple times, but you, your brow is furrowed, sir. 
I'm trying to look up the Facebook stock price. Oh, that's good. Because has, has it split ever? Do you know, I don't know. I should have looked this up beforehand, so that's I apologize. Okay. No, it's okay. So, um, so this guy talks about how much Google was admired because they could monetize this thing, and this guy goes, "The advertising model is the best way to do this. We need to monetize because we need to make money." What? But that was never branded to us, was it? The, the branding to us when we started, when we started giving our data away, and I'm not one of those told you show, told you so people. But how long ago have I ever told you? You might remember because we've known each other almost 30 years. Uh, data, information is a new currency. Yeah. I said that at least 10 years ago. No, it's 27. <laughs> but like when this started coming out, I'm like, you're giving away your number? You're giving them your, you're, you're giving them this. Giving. Because, wait, but they're not asking for anything back. There, there's no free lunch, people. There's no free lunch. I don't know what they're getting yet, but it's definitely they're getting something. Of course. And it became the currency. And now everybody's talking about that like it's just the phrase. It's that or, everyone, but people are talking about it because it's also bad. Yeah. Or well evil. now it is. Right. It is evil. But now they're now they're finally admitting that the information is the is the monetary source. But is, it's too late. I know. That's the problem. You and I foresee these things. Not always. And I'm not in this case, right? I didn't know what social media was going to happen, but we also were never given that problem to begin with. But I also look at it as it's not just social media, it's Amazon and all other internet, walmart.com. And it's become an internet mall. Right. The the one woman said it's like a mall now. Yes, correct. So it's not just social media. It's all internet, all companies that use the internet are utilizing data and information about all its customers to maximize everything they possibly can to make more money. I mean, target.com or whatever.com so that people can spend more time on their website to possibly spend more money on the website. Right. But this is the difference. Not everybody's going on walmart.com. They're all going on Facebook and Google and giving their preferences to them. Walmart then has to go to Google and Facebook to get the data because they don't have enough. Yes. To be be really predictive, you have to have a lot of information. Correct. And Walmart has a lot of people going on the Right, but not as much as Google. But not Google and Facebook. Right, right, right. So to your point, absolutely right. These, These businesses, to your point, are taking what they're learning from the way we use Facebook and Google and YouTube. Correct. Against us. I, I hate to say against well, us, but it's to manip- it's manipulation to maximize dollars. Yeah. It's the bottom line. It's the it's the it's the almighty dollar. Right. And to maximize shareholder value. What's that's frust- the entire that's the entire point. What's frustrating to me is that they call that capitalism. And that is bullshit. True capitalism is not this model. This is a skewed work just like pure communism could work like in a marxist with 20 30 people you know what i mean like yes we're all like a little commune right that could work in a small group our capitalist system is not pure capitalism we were supposed to reinvest into our products and reinvest and reinvest into the community and only take a portion out to live but obviously ceos are getting paid these crazier and crazier bonuses and salaries, that gap is getting bigger. We're not capitalists the way we're supposed to be capitalists. That's the problem. The system isn't the problem. Our use of it, I, in my opinion, is very screwed, right? Is skewed right now. I'm thinking. I, I, I agree and disagree. I, I think the system's fucked. I think it's just like anything else. The current right? system is fucked. Oh yeah, sure. I think capitalism is an is a beautiful, amazing idea that has gone sideways. The same thing with organized religion. It's a beautiful, amazing, pure idea to to love one another and to every religion is amazing. And then humans fuck it up. And this and that's true. Like what you said. You said Marxism or yeah, yeah. That it's a great idea when there's thirty people. When there's thirty million, we have a problem. So and what's funny is it could be thirty-one. And 31. Only, all you need is just one of them not playing the game, and that whole system. Falls yes, apart. Right. that's why. That's why using words like communism and capitalism are very in. They're incorrect terms in the fact that they're not written the way Adam Smith and Karl Marx wrote them. They're not practiced the way they're written. And they're, they actually work in a vacuum. They don't necessarily work in real life. It's not a practical guide. Well, so let's back up. Anyway, 
Yeah. Can we beep? Can, oh, we need a beep beep. Yeah. Backer upper. Not a beep beep, but a beep beep. beep. Is that a forklift beep. or is that a sure. truck? I'll find one. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, so can anyone blame these social media companies? I mean, the, how can you? Exactly. Because they're all they're trying to do is make money for their employees, right? Make money for their advertisers, which are their technically the advertisers, That's their customer, correct. correct? The advertisers are their customers, they flip the script, and yep. the people that own the shares of stock in those companies. That's so. Whatever tactics they do to make those people money, that's their business. Absolutely. You don't have to use their app. You don't have to buy their stock. Yes. But there is an ethical. But it's beyond that. How many people can start a Google? How many people can start a Facebook? There's there's a border. Have you heard the term like natural monopoly? Or yes, of course. We, 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 we talked about that before. We've talked about it, right? The internet as a whole is really scary because it's not it's not considered a utility right now. But somebody started see, a couple of a year ago. I had never heard of TikTok. Somebody started TikTok. Whoa, that's old. Okay, that okay, that's China. That's a bad example. China is a so tough three, one. four yeah. years before that, I had never heard of Snapchat. No, I agree. Then all of a sudden, Snapchat's super right. popular, and they have VCs and they had people funding it. And to that point, I watched that. I didn't. I didn't catch it the first time I watched it. Snapchat is the largest communication tool for kids. on teenagers. Yeah. among teenagers. So it is, and it's they communicate differently. So some than guy, we do, for some sure. guy goes, "Hey, we need a social media app that caters to kids, and we're going to call it." Snapchat. Oh, okay. Right. But this is so, this is the difference. I see it. Take it this way. Anyone can drill in their backyard for oil? No. no. I we've had that right? conversation. So before. that's kind of I I'm just making the this specific thing cuz not everybody has venture capitalists to make a social media thing. It has kind of become a natural monopoly. It's 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 become a utility much more than it's become a business. I agree with that. Just but some people would may disagree. Well, of course, the businesses themselves would absolutely disagree because oh, well, yeah, they're for what, profit. Okay, but what percentage of our listeners are going to go, Mark, I don't agree with that? That's a great question. And hello to the world. Can someone tell me? Who does not think that the internet, Google, and once I, when I say Google, YouTube, all that, because YouTube's owned by Google, face and Facebook aren't some kind of natural monopoly where you can't get into that business. You can't really get into the Facebook business if if you want to start Facebook. another right social media app right and you get pushed out. I mean, they would just push. Well, they you would out. probably buy you right or do that or whatever they can. But you know, sometimes you can be stubborn and say, "I refuse to sell." Yeah. But then they'll find there's another way. Of course, there's another because way. because they have the clout, right? Because they can then possibly manipulate the internet to steer traffic away from those sites. Shadow, you hear I shadow know. banning and all these other things. So it's scary in that way. So it's just, that's my opinion. Now, I'm also a cat. I am a capitalist at heart. I believe in for profit, but they came to us like they were saviors. They were connecting people and finding an organ donor, right? For someone who needed it or finding long lost relatives. Wasn't that like, that was how they cooked us. Right. And yes. then they switched it without us even knowing. And now those algorithms are running in the background and they're directing us into places we don't want to be, but we think we do because it thinks that we do. So it goes, hey, let's worry about the color scheme of Gmail. Let's not worry about how addictive it is. Let's make it more addictive by adding schemes and colors and pictures and puppies. Puppies? Yeah, and unicorns, bro. Unicorns and puppies. Rainbows. My favorites, bro. Rainbows, unicorns, puppies, and sprinkles. Yeah, Jimmy's. Jimmy's. So, what are your thoughts about that? I, the natural monopoly thing, I don't, I don't, I, I struggle with because you have a good point, but I'm tired of talking about it. <laughs> I am still also on the fence, and I think I keep bringing it up because I'm trying, I'm trying to find my own answer. To you it. should just talk yourself out of it and shut the hell up. Oh, what's the second? What was your second point after natural monopoly? Uh, words, 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 nothing. words. Words. I don't, oh, about that's how they hooked us with with the compassion. Oh, yes. Part. They yes. didn't hook us with, hey, give us your information. We'll sell it to third parties and use it against you. Like that. It wasn't a business. Facebook never came as a business, never came to you as a business. Whereas like 
you knew Walmart was a business. Yes, I see what you're saying. Right? YouTube was a video, a place to check out video. It wasn't a business. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong. We got schnookered. We, we believed it. But once again, you and I, we need WD-50 on that stuff. At least 48. 48, 49, whatever it's Yeah. Um, we've seen the pitfalls of social media, or we saw them prior, and you and I have not really engaged in social media until we started this. Six months ago. That's correct. Six months ago. I had a Facebook account. I think the last time I posted was like 2018 or 17 or something. Thanking people for wishing me birthdays. Yeah, right. My dogs had an Instagram. That was it. Yeah, but yeah, that's worth it. And then you talked me into getting on Twitter. Yeah. You asshole. Well, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I don't think you are. I, well, well, the reason I don't feel I'll as tell you bad. What. I'll tell you what. The reason I don't feel as bad is because I do way more on it that's way more toxic than what you do. It's very true. And I'm kind of taking one for the team, bro. You are. I give you like, all the credit. But I am, do not engage in toxic. Seven percent. I do not credit. engage in toxic stuff. But it's just a, it's a grind to monitor that as a human being and I, not a bot. Yes. And then you're told you're a bot, and then you're like, I ain't no bot. It's like reminds me of Randy Moss when he's like, I ain't no girl. I'm like, I ain't no bot. <laughs> and they're like, Yes, you are. I just texted back. I just messaged you back that I'm not, bro. Would bots write back that Would they're not a bot? Would bots use the word ain't? Ain't? Ain't no bot, bro. <laughs> Would they say bro? They wouldn't. Bots don't know bro. They'd say bot. I ain't no bro bot. <laughs> I ain't no bro. <laughs> That's a different shirt we need. Hashtag I ain't no bro bot. Bro bot. It's like go bots. Oh, yes. It's like Transformers light. Yeah, I remember that crap. Good, good, good. Go bots. Their toys were so inferior to very much. They had like so. two moving parts. Yes. And Transformers had like 42 articulating uh, joints. Optimus Prime. Get to the chopper. <laughs> I'm like, did he just do an Arnold? He did. He stole it. Where sound wave. Optimus Prime. Oh, does that sound like I can't that tell? That was pretty like good. I, I can't hear it right. Anyway. Yes. Jack Mark says, oh, this, we just got this Transformer. The G.I. Joe Transformer Hour. Yes. Every, every day is check mark. Yes. In Czechoslovakia, in Czech Republic. Yes. It's, it, we just got released this fall. This fall, 2020, we get G.I. Joe and the Transformer. Yes. Followed by Gem. Yes. And the holograms. Yes. And the holograms and uh, Synergy. You didn't get, I, what, I about Land of, what about Land computer. of the Lost? Land, Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine expedition? Man. What cave you live under? We got that back in the 90s. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, we got a long time ago. long time ago. So, Checkmark, so, what is the motto of G.I. Joe? Uh, let me show you something. <laughs> something. No, uh, the more you know. No. What's, uh, knowing is half the battle, I believe. Is, and is yo, Joe. Go, Joe. <laughs> What's up, shipwreck? Uh, uh. Okay, that was total tangent. It was pretty good. Um... So we were talking about uh, AI. AI. The algorithms are just directing us to look at the screen longer, and they're getting better at it every second of every day. And that's you and I. You and I knew that how easily we could get hooked on that or how easily it would draw us in. So what did we do? We just didn't engage, right? We just Correct. didn't do anything with it. Correct. And I'll be honest, I haven't missed, I didn't miss a damn thing when I wasn't on it. I agree. But- I've been on it for six months now. Not even. We, we started July. Yeah, July. So really, it'll be, by the time this is released, it's like exactly four months in. Right. Almost like just over four months. And now I feel like I'm missing everything when I don't have that thing in my hand. Really? It's, the thing is, I, I, like, to, I like to work hard at a craft. So I want our podcast to succeed. I agree. And I believe that, Every chance that I can to tell someone about it or try to share it with someone, I need to take that opportunity. So any second I'm sitting and not doing something else with my hands, I'm either on the computer now or on the phone asking people to give us a try, give yeah. us a listen. And yeah, it's work and it's like grindy. So I can, I can still bifurcate it and say, it's kind of my work because I'm not, in, I'm not emotional about it. Right? Like, I'm not emotional about, hey, 
give us a try. And if someone says no, I go, okay, cool. Next. Like, right. not a big deal. Right. But if I got into the conversations of things that are going on, that's bad. The emotion, it just, well, because people equal shit. <laughs> people. Who was that again? Was Slipknot. That? Slipknot. Oh, beautiful. Dear Corey. Dear Corey. Please come on our show. Please. We'd love to have you on. Yes. I'll do a duet with you. Okay. I'll say shit to equal people. I sit backwards. I say, hey, I'll forward to looking for shit or forward to looking for peoples. I need, I need peoples to spread on the ground to make things grow better. Yes. Oh, you mean shit? Oh, yes, but people equal shit. Oh, damn it. Same thing. Uh, so <laughs> they are just roping us into these engagements, right? But even though I'm not looking for the engagement part, as I'm scrolling, looking for people at, to whom I can write yes. or to... To whom yes. I can, with whom I can engage, there are issues going on. Other poop. So the stuff runs by me. It's go- yes. Obviously, I see it, and then it plays in my head. Holy crap. The president's a fascist. Holy crap. Antifa's fascist, and they're the opposite ends of the, of the spectrum, and they're both fascists. Um, I, my brain doesn't work that way, bro. So those things actually enter your brain. Yeah, because I read it. I read, like, just skimming, you see Trump fascist and then Antifa yeah, fascist or something. Know. Well, I'm just going through, just yeah, looking I, for... I understand. I, I just don't... I see those as well, but I just don't even process that crap. I, I can't help it. Cause I think you and I are slightly different polit- in our... Not, not our political stances, per se, even though we are, but I think the way we care about politics. Yeah, I, I'm just... I'm so done with, with all of it. I, I am also done with it. But I'm a little concerned. I'm not going to lie. I'm concerned. Oh, absolutely. I So I have a hard time letting it go. But that's on me. I'm totally okay with that. But you also don't hear us talk politics like create. We're not a politics show by any stretch absolutely of any. Absolutely right. We, For a reason. We talk about philosophy. it's dumb as shit. Exactly. We talk about philosophies. We talk about ideas and things like that. And they can be, you can paint them however you want. But we don't talk candidates specifically other than People who text us at midnight. I knew you or, were going to say that. Or or orange hair, <laughs> orange faced, orange hair people who think he's terrific. Who of whom Jess Garcia, sorry, Ms. Garcia does board? a great. Uh, I didn't. I don't know if I added her yet. I don't know if I added her yet. Did Do I? I need to send you a reminder? Keep talking, bro. Keep talking, bro. To send you a reminder to see if Miss Garcia's amazing, huge impersonation is on the board. That's a terrible Oompa Loompa impression. Oompa Loompa doopity do, we've got a funny story for you. Sorry about that. I don't have it. Dick face. I have it here actually. Since we're yes, God. Since we're already talking about a certain. <laughs> Hold on one second. May I try this? Let's yes, see you if may. This will work. Here we go. Is the greatest, most factual documentary that's ever existed. <laughs> did I pick that up? Barely. Right, we're we're going to do this. We're going to try this one more time. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. One flip second. the microphone. Yeah, I'm going to try one more time. Here we go, 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 go. Is the greatest, most factual documentary that's ever existed. <laughs> the greatest, most factual documentary that's ever existed. Huge. Thank you, Ms. Garcia. We're going to give her that. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Jeff. So speaking of that, I did have a, I did have a note. And we can squash this if you don't want to discuss it. No, we'll talk about everything, um, bro. This is tangents bro, three three point eight six seven niner. So, uh, with my recent attempt to assist the podcast, I've been trying to share the podcast on Facebook and gain more friends, as, as we've talked about. But I have not announced that on the, the podcast before. So I've seen a lot of young ladies probably under the age of 30 that are attractive and they all have their profile picture all has a Trump uh, circle on the outside and they all have a Trump flag or some kind of a hat and there's a lot of them so I'm like so when I started friending people I'm looking for a very diverse audience I don't care about color. I don't care about political. I would love to have a Biden listener and a Trump listener. You actually do want different people. I, I do. I right. really so want, yes. In a weird way, we talk about diversity like, yes. oh, you shouldn't see color. No, we. 
you actually do by looking by saying you're not looking for you're actually that's what you want is diversity. Yeah. So, so you're when intentionally I'm, looking when for I'm looking for people that I want to have as friends on Facebook, I want diversity. I want people from all over the world, all walks of life, all colors, because I think I think everyone is going to like something that we have to say, something that we're going to talk about. So I'm trying to friend a wide variety of people to share our podcast. Right. But I've been running into a lot of these young women that are Trump supporters and that's fine. So I friended probably five. How many friends do they have? I don't know. I can look. Cause uh, uh, but go 50, ahead. 50 to 50 or so. Okay, I'll let you finish your point, but there's, there's something to that too. I believe be there is about. too. So, um, so one girl messaged me and said, hey, honey, how are you doing? And I'm like, okay, something's wrong with this picture. I don't know you. So I click on her profile. Her profile is two days old. I'm like, oh, Bingo. she has three pictures. Right. She has 50 friends. They're all men. I'm like, okay. Then I click on another girl, some other girl from some other state, equally as cute, equally as Trump, which is totally fine. By the way, okay. Same Great. thing. Her profile is three days old. You realize the other side's doing the same thing. Oh, no, that's You're absolutely. just not seeing them. I, no, I am. I've seen oh, some oh, okay. Bidens, I'm just too. Saying, but you understand what I, I'm saying. I have like, seen some Bidens as well. And I'm not saying that you're calling no, out one I'm over no, the no, other. No, I'm not. No, I'm, it's not. We want to be clear. It's not a Trump thing at all right. because I've seen the other side of the coin. This is being done is what you're saying. Yes. You're seeing, so you're seeing young, you're, attractive you're seeing people. I saw a guy. People who would be your demographic, people that well, you would, who could, who, well, they could entice you. Let's well, people that, that I think would like the show. Right, not somebody that I want to date. That's right. not what I'm no, talking no, about. No, no, not at all. But, but an somebody attractive that I'm like, hey, woman would I think this person you. might like the show, regardless of political affiliation, regardless of whatever. So I'm like, hey, do you want to be friends? Yes or no? They can say no. That's cool. And they say yes. And then I look at their profile. I'm like, how come your profile is two days old? How come yeah. your profile is three days old? Why are there only three pictures? Okay, that's super suspicious to me. Unfriend. Right. Boom. And Delete I've done that five times. So that's my question to you: is that what what the hell okay so this is this is what happens tell me they're flooding they're they is everyone i'm just gonna say all parties whatever left right center it doesn't even matter the manipulators whoever's trying to manipulate you is creating all these different profiles picking a side that they want to manipulate about you and they just throw them at you Assuming that you're just automatically going to click friend because someone wants to be your friend. So many people have no idea who they're friending because they don't, to your point, they don't think like you and I, they don't have that. Agreed. They go, oh, I'm too busy to figure out who that is. I'll just friend him. I'll figure it out later if it works out. Right. Sure. Whereas I'll get one, a friend, and I go, they don't have any friends. And then you look, they're two days old, right? Or they have five friends. How'd they get five friends? They're all older dudes, and it's obviously some young, attractive woman who's barely dri- barely clothed, yeah, just legally clothed. out, gone. Right. And you're sitting there like, how did how did that how did five people add her? And I'm not going to say that every old dude's a creepazoid. Some are, but not everybody is. True. So some acts probably just said accept. Yes. Or so the, we, I think some people are on auto accept. Right. I there think are, that's a thing. That is correct. And- I did the same thing you did when I was adding friends and I got up to the 4,800 friend mark. Is that the max? In like 5,000 is the max Okay, of friends. You can have as many followers of a page or something, but as a friend thing, direct friend connection, it's 5,000. It's capped. At least that's what my experience. Okay. I've seen people and someone's someone's tried to add me or asked to be their friend and they're capped at 5,000. And I'm like, once again, now in hindsight, after watching this show, somebody threw me into that, into their little echo chamber. I'm like, why would you ask me to be your friend when I can't be? It's virtually impossible because you have a limit of 5,000. Yeah. You would think you would get some kind of an error. Right. You would, right. You would think that fate, well, I don't think the guy Facebook, did it. Yeah, Facebook would go, Facebook sorry, would, Mark can't be your friend. Right. He can capped. make this, it can make this algorithm do this, but not that. You know why? Yeah. Cause it'll still engage me because someone wants to add oh. me. And I'm just, these light bulbs are coming yes. on as I'm watching this show. Oh, it's not about that. Like the one that Tristan talked about, Tristan Harris, yeah. who's on here. And I sent him a message and I, I would love, I mean, that would just to talk geek with him forever. I would yeah. Just, that would be a, a great thing. I agree. He just seems like such a nice guy. Just a really great guy anyway tristan talks about it and then he talks about um 
keeping you engaged. It's funny because they'll say, oh, you'll like this picture, right? Yes. Someone or someone tagged you in a photo. What does that make you do? Click to the link. Why doesn't it just show you the photo with you tagged on it? It makes you actually push the button to get it. It's training you. Yeah. It's training you because it's a dog. It could have just sent you the email with here's a picture you photo tagged in it. Isn't that great? Yeah. No, it's someone tagged you. Click here to see who it is. Right? Isn't that how they do it? Click here to find out. Tap tap the notification. Would you like to know more? Would you like to know more? I mean, let's stomp bugs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to know more. I mean, tell me that's not crazy, right? I mean, we are just being cattle like herded in this direction. And the bigger thing is that 99.9% of us don't think like you and I and don't see it. And they truly believe if you, and it's not 99% believe it, but no. if you ask whether Facebook is like doing good or doing bad, I would say a majority would still probably say, I like Facebook. It works for me. Yes. I, I would agree it. with that. Yes. I'm not going to say it's, I don't know a number, but I would guess it's 51, 49 at least. I would say 60, 60 40, 40 probably or more, probably even a little more depending on who's using it. And whatnot. But um, what's scary about that is like, I remember everybody sharing early. And, and I'm, it's, this isn't an I told you so. It was just the way we see the world. I was like, you guys are dooming yourselves. You're dooming yourselves. And there was a point, okay, there was a point in Nixon's administration where there was something said about if you wanted to make America, if you wanted to make do better, like be a good America, right? Like if you want to make more money or have better things, both of you work, both the, both husband and wife. Yes. Both parents. Let's just say parents. Cause now in today, back then it would but have been the husband 70s, and wife, yeah. right? Have your wife work or whatever. Yeah. Right. But then did you notice a uh, single, a uh, single family working isn't really happening anymore. Everyone works because now it raised the level to the point where you can't do it. As a That's single the family. expectation now. Right. Yes. Now you need both just to keep your nose above that water. Well, level. yeah. Right. Yeah. So what became like an idea, the intention was good. Hey, if you want to do a little better, but by doing so, the people that did that raised, right, raised a wage gap or raised an yes. inflation or yes. whatever, because things grew. And now look what happened. But we now, spend more money that way. Right. But now we need that. We need both incomes just to get. Buy, yes, you know, so it's kind of like how the internet is like. It was like you're gonna need it. Like we we're dependent on some kind of social media because without it, you and I, no one, you and I can sit here and record for forty two hours at a time, and I'll do it with no listeners. I don't want to. I'd love to monetize this. Yes, of course. But we would do that. But if we wanted to make this a thing, we need. The, the thing that's e the thing that we're seeing is evil or at least becoming evil right the social media we need yes, we need the yes. social media part of course i understand we won't connect with people we won't be able to engage with a phone call people don't pick up the phones i won't even get a phone list like who has a phone well you, you could know? call a cell phone yeah, call a cell but phone. that's dumb hi yeah i'm or calling send a from text. Knox conscious uh, <laughs> would, would you, you like, like to, to know listen? more would, would you like to listen to us <laughs> would you like who? to know more yeah. Hi, I'm with Not Conscious. Would you like to know more? And Starship Troopers. <laughs> Check Mark's Roughnecks. Roughnecks! Why, why is it that MySpace faded away? It made some errors. Like what? I don't know, but it would be, it would have to be some error in understanding people. Because... Well, it transitioned a little bit. It's actually more of like a musical thing now. Really? A lot of, yeah, there's actually a lot of independent artists that are on MySpace. I didn't know it was still alive. If I may say, um, I believe that um, Justin Timberlake is part owner. I believe he, he bought it for like $5 million, some ridiculous. He bought it for $5. Yeah, but it was like value, the valuation at its at its peak was ridiculous. Massive, yeah. yeah. It was ridiculous. But it, it died as quickly, because there's, obviously there's something that wasn't right. I don't think it changed. I think it kind of stayed the same. Yeah, Facebook replaced it. Right, but Facebook uh, changes all the time. Yes, so but it also bought Instagram. 
Right. Oh, yeah. But it also grew and bought some other things. MySpace thought, oh, we're good. We're kind yes. of the Xerox. Correct. Right? We don't need to make any change. Correct. So by the time, you remember the top eight and all that bullshit it was trying to do at the end? No. Like, who are your top eight? And no. then you'd be, you could be on somebody's top eight. No. They just didn't do it right. They just didn't understand the social part but of it. But it was too new also. Yeah. yeah. They, I don't think they had now, they didn't understand how to write an algorithm for that. And I think, I'm sure, you know, the way, well, you know, like, let's be honest, Facebook was, Really interesting because those two twin brothers really yeah. came up with the idea, yeah. and it worked at Harvard first, right? Yes. And then Stan, and then Zuckerberg took it to Stanford, right? And then it grew kind of the way it did, I think. But the idea and the way they did it was really smart because it was MySpace was a little more, I think, it was more random. I think Facebook initially started like you needed to be friends, correct? Like you needed to know each other, you yes. To, like so, I think it, it created even more of a bond for us to connect that way. Because it made it more serious of a connection. Yeah. And MySpace kind of came a joke, right? Remember my, from my place to MySpace or MySpace well, to my place? I remember, remember some people saying, oh, my grandma's on it. I don't want to be on it anymore. <laughs> I'm, and then I remember the younger folks because I was on it when I was in my mid 30s, probably. And I remember people on I'm going I'm on Facebook now because my mom's not on Facebook. And then that obviously was 10, 12 years ago, whatever. So. And then it's, it's funny. It's how things evolve, you know? So it's apparently MySpace is a music so site now. MySpace is a very strong music site. It's actually pretty neat because a lot of independent artists go on there and they're like, Hey, check us out. It's kind of like almost okay. like a podcast okay. platform. So it's pretty neat. Um, what's really interesting. It's not interesting at all, ladies and gentlemen, but I have a MySpace account. And I don't remember the password. Yeah. I haven't logged in in many, 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 many years. My email is so old. It's a pre Yahoo email. It's AOL. No, it's one from like frontier dot net. Like what? It was like, you know, the old wild west when like, I'm, can no we need a, we need a modem sound on the board. Oh, don't ever do that again. That was, Oh God. That again? Oh, it hurt my ears. It's the wrong misophonia. <laughs> We're on the wrong. Uh, you know what? We never talked about how annoying that is. We didn't. That is. Annoying. I hear that at work every day though. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How many times do you have to dial in, bro? I have like 185 analog lines in my building, dude. Thank God for COVID. I don't have to go to work. A bad, bro. Because <laughs> I love my flip flops. Love my, that COVID 19. My flip flops and my tank top. I do love them flip so much. And the tank top, flop flips. And the I think top it's tank? I think it's interesting the the way that MySpace rose and fell, and then Facebook replaced it, and then Instagram came along, and then. Uh, Twitter came along and then they Twitter blew up. It seems like everyone's, it seems like everyone on that, on that show on Netflix talks about Twitter and how everyone gets their news from Twitter. Everyone gets their sports from Twitter. Hey, oh, my flight's delayed because Delta airlines tweeted out the Dallas airports shut down. So they, everyone gets instant information from Twitter and has nothing to do with Facebook or Instagram. And I find that fascinating that it's, 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 it's more than a social media tool. It's a everything tool. I, that's, that's crazy to me. How do you keep up with that? Used correctly. It's an information tool used the way it's being used. It's kind of a misinformation tool. I see why you say that. Um, to your point, think about the double edged sword, right? The shot heard around the world. Think about if Twitter existed when the Revolutionary War started. The shot heard around the world yeah. would have been 13 seconds. China would have been like, holy shit, America's going to war. Right. Not right. nine months fucking later in yeah. a boat. Or a boat. Or what, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, yes. Just think about that. Do you, I remember, do you remember the airplane in San Francisco that went off the edge of the runway? Mm -hmm. People were live tweeting yes. that or whatever yes. while it was happening while yeah. they were on the freaking yeah. plane yeah that is a that is amazing that is amazing but the other side is i can be slanderous about you and no one knows you and it'll be in china in yes. a billion people's face on a billion people's screens yeah if i have the right pull and now you're a piece of shit yeah and that and they don't even know you and that piece of shit comment may be completely false. I'm saying, I'm telling you, I would make up something and it may say everyone Mark it. has amazing boobs. Oh, and you're like, mark. uh... Is that A cup? 
check mark has no boobs. Why would somebody say that? that truly is the definition of fake news. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. It's not. That's that's a lie. Look, I'm sorry, but when you tweet Trump is a fascist or you tweet Biden is a pinko commie lefty or whatever. Yeah, those are okay? no. Those, those things are, are bullshit. Those are not truths. Yes, those are not truths. Yes. However. What do you think gets the most engagement? Yeah, as the, as they stated in that show, the, it's the things that outrage people get the most attention, yeah. and that those get the most hits, and those suck up the most screen time because people that evokes the. They never said this, but to me, my interpretation was it evokes the most emotional response. Yes, but they never said that. But it seemed obvious. Well, to outrage me. is an emotional well, response, yeah. and that's the most strong. That's the strongest one. Correct. It's the most Correct. negative. What's funny that I. That was one thing. Thank you for bringing that up. You're welcome. Um, he said, do you feel on outrage coming on like an onset of outrage? You don't actually feel outrage. You become outraged. Outrageous. You become outraged. Outraged. Right. Like when he said that, I was like, holy shit. I never thought about. I never. I never walk in going outrage. You just get outrage. Yes. With more stuff thrown in your face. Yes. It becomes cumulative. And I didn't think of it from that perspective that it, you get it versus have it. Yeah. And that's, that's a good part point. of the manipulation is they're giving it to you. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't, you can't avoid it because you don't even know that you think that you're doing it. Like you, you think that you are it, right? You think you are that angry person. So like you think even less of yourself, but they're, pulling you into these different directions to make you feel that way. They're trying to evoke that emotional response to your point. And it's scary. It's kind of like the thing when, when 10 people have good experience, one person will write about it. But when one person has a bad experience, they'll send it to 10 people. What was that growth thing? Uh, in that, in that school, what was that school called? The school of persuasive fucking pers- yeah, persuasion that Stanford school of persuasion and learning or whatever. He's like, or the Facebook guys like, I need you to add seven new friends every 10 days. He, that's like a fucking I formula. That part. It was when the guy was sitting in the chair talking about how brilliant they are at getting people to engage or grow. But basically in that documentary, once again, it's an hour and a half. You can miss some parts. It's easy. Um, seven people they wanted to, they needed you to add seven friends every 10 days. Why? That's how they got this growth model to do what it did exponentially to become what they, they have models about. If seven people are added to seven new friends every 10 days, it'll be X by X and we can charge Y for Z. That's and interesting. It from became a, a formula. From a financial perspective, they say, okay, we need each person every 10 days to add seven friends. That is equals this many clicks clicks which th- equals this much revenue for this many advertisers which then in theory will increase our stock price by z yeah that's that's insane yeah and all remember that whole human thing about connecting us no now you're just a formula because you just need to be plus seven every 10 days yeah not even a name yeah we're just a number yeah once again yeah just we're just a freaking number and i have to work i have to fix that because that squeak is not doing well it's, sorry twitter world i hear it maybe you don't you do it. yeah oh i hear it's it like but I'm, I'm sitting next to well, it that's true. that's true maybe maybe that's all i'm hearing maybe i'm not hearing it through the mic <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah to your point is like you become outraged right they get you and you they grow exponentially and you're just a fucking Another stat. Yeah, when they said, "Oh, there's a billion, there's a billion people with smartphones," I, I thought, "Wow, I'm one of a billion people." That's fucking crazy. That's less than fifteen percent of the population is still a billion people. One seventh, right? What yes, is, yes, yes. So it's yes. like 12, 13 percent. Yeah, because of the you population. have a, a million. Well, yeah, you have, you have a, a tons of kids under the age of twelve, right. whatever. You've got oh, you've well, got elderly a billion folks, under, whatever. You know, yeah. yeah. And then of you've course. got you've got other places that don't have. Yeah, it. absolutely. Correct. People that live in the Amazon rainforest. We're in right. America, bro. Everyone's got two phones, if not three. Uh, so we account for the billion, right? So that number gets kind of watered down a little bit. Some people have two phones. A lot of people yeah. work, especially work phones, right? So if you think a billion total. 
and everyone has two, you're not at a half a billion, but you know, you're maybe at not 800 million, 900 million. Yeah, right? I understand. And then you just I keep get it. watering it down. But, um, yeah. And, and they have us, they have us by the short and curlies. They know exactly what, if they know exactly what they need to tell us to keep us there. And if they don't know this time, they're learning for next time. Yeah. Have you seen Terminator? <laughs> Have you seen my baseball? <laughs> um, but that's the funny thing. They even mentioned Terminator, right? I Everyone know. thinks like, right, fire and brimstone. No, my friends. This is just different, fire and brimstone. Yeah, it is just control in a totally different way. We we all will need this. And it's scary. A couple of days ago, I uh, got up, fed the dogs, made coffee, logged into work. And about one or two o'clock, I went, oh, hey, I haven't checked any social media today. How about that? So I'm like, wow. Holy shit. Cool. Yay, me. I'm giving you a class. And then I raced to my Twitter account. No, I did not. <laughs> Broke your leg. Like, Broke your ankle. Uh, running my pinky to toe. I do. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm, I'd like to pat myself on the back for as much dedication I'm putting to the show and trying to get out there. Like last night, uh, Megzy and I were having dinner at like six ish or so. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to touch my phone or the computer. Good. Just put it down till she went to bed. And then I got on there and I'll, I'm going to be honest. I felt overwhelmed because so much stuff had gone by and I have to go back. Right. Cause I'm looking for yes. specific things. So yes. I'm scrolling through hours, five, six hours of <coughs> stuff. Yeah. And it, it's impossible to have it not go in my head and then bounce around, bro. I mean, you know me. So I see these things and it's just like the most radical or just like someone's asking for a left, leftist communist podcast. That sounds awesome. Do, do it, uh, is one out there? Sure. We need to listen the to that the sickle. <laughs> I am sickle of this place. Oh, it's funny. Uh, we need the Jordan hammer in the, the sickle. We need the hammer and the pickle. Oh, yes. <laughs> The pickle is delicious. Kosher dill, yes. Yes, the dill oh, pickle. Dill. What's Spears. the dill pickle? <laughs> so, but I mean, you just hear weird stuff like that. Like, I, one of my favorite is, that's what's great about podcasting as a whole, is like, I'm looking for a center-left, pro-life, anti-gun, pro-death penalty. I'm sorry, anti-death penalty. Anti-death penalty. Nigerian <laughs> woman. Who used to be a man. Whoa. And it's like, and that's great. Look, you know, transgender, I guess, would be the term or whatever. But it's like, the niche is so specific about what people are looking for. And honestly, that's where Twitter should be used as a tool. It's like, I know somebody who knows that. Boom, here you go. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know if you saw some of the tweets earlier today, but there was a woman who was asking about music. And I know we talk about music, but not the way she was asking. She was asking for, I'm looking for more of like, how they talk about the song, not whether it's good or not. And you had shown me Amazon Prime, the classic albums thing, where they break down Peter Gabriel's soul. Yes, that was really good. It was awesome. Right? And yeah. they had all those albums. Have you seen all of them? I've seen, uh, yeah. Iron, Iron Maiden, Maiden and all the other ones, right? <laughs> Duh, Number of the Beast. I, I was going to send it to you. I'm like, I know you. Up the you sent it to me. I'm like, you sent it to me. So I I've seen it in ACDC. I've seen an Iron Maiden. Right. The Peter Gabriel so one is amazing to me. I just love the way his mind so works. So did you send her that? Music. So I told her about it, and she was like, Oh my gosh, this is exactly what I was looking for. Is it our podcast? No. But it's still a cool... But I was able to help someone yeah. from thousands of miles away, or who knows, tens of thousands. I don't know where this or next person door. lived. Or next door. But I was able to help this person find exactly what she wanted, because I happened to be there when she happened to be there. Yeah. That is a beautiful thing. But the other side of that is just, is Boop. it worth? is it Boop. worth that? So like so the question becomes is the juice worth the squeeze? I I don't I don't know how to answer that. Or do do we regulate or is it too late or is it out of the box? I mean the way this I the way this AI stuff they were talking about it's smarter than them. They don't know what it's going to do. That Do you remember when I said that's when we're in trouble? I didn't know it already existed. <laughs> When I said, when it does something that you don't want it to do or it overrides what you're expecting it to do or whatever, that's a problem. You think? Yeah. And we're there. Oh, that's like when you said about the car. 
Yeah. I want to turn left. No, right. you're going to go straight, Frank. No, you're going to go straight. Yeah. Right. That. So do you think we should regulate? You know me, man. I am, I'm a business guy. I believe in business. Um, I would love, well, we'll talk a little bit about that because we didn't talk about what the problem is because that's the big part that I want to get to at the end. Um, yes, I, w- I would like to treat the internet as a whole as a utility that I can't create an internet company on my own. No one, no one really can. Therefore, it should be treated like gas, electricity, water, power. Yeah. All that. That's my opinion. What's your thought on that? I, I don't have a problem with it being treated like a utility, but I, I just think that government is corrupt. And, and behind. Yeah, and antiquated. Antiquated, So yes. w- thinking about, oh, we need to regulate Facebook. We need to regulate Instagram. With old white guys in government, right. they know. Yeah. It's, that's idiotic because they, it's, 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 they're, they're more corrupt than the AI that's feeding me bullshit on my fucking feed. What if they're forced to, what if they're... Like like a package on cigarettes. I know that's a simple thing. It's not going to pro- solve the problem. You know how when you go on, in, yes. on the website now, it talks about cookies? Yeah. This site has cookies. What if it just said all the shitty things that each social media thing does? Like, hi, we're Twitter. Just so you know, you may be shadow banned. Just so you know, we may... You bar- might, you might we, see porn. We might bar you. Right. Like, yeah. What if there was something like that? It's like, we're not what you think we are. We're This is who we are. And guess what, guys? You need us because we're the only game in town. And if any other game comes in town, they're going to do it the same way because it's the only way to do it. Right? It's the money model. Yeah. So if they came and just were, like, honest with us, don't you think, like, it would sh- we'd at least be more vigilant about what we share? Or No, we wouldn't. I know. Because. I know. I you're, trying, no, I, I, I don't have a problem with, with Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. and I, I don't either. D- doing actually. what you said and having a, having a an basically like a acceptance policy. And I don't have a problem with it being what it is, to be honest. If you, if you, if you gun to my head, I don't have a problem with what they're doing and how they're doing it. I believe that it's unethical. It is. Unethical. However, it's, it's as a human being, it's your choice to put it down. Yeah. You know, and, and, and if and if we want to if we want to classify an addiction to a, to a social media app up there with alcoholism or heroin, I think that's stretching it a little bit. But if we want, let's say, okay, oh my God, I'm 17 and I'm addicted to Facebook. I can't put it down. Blah 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 blah. Okay, well then we need to have an intervention. You need to go to a meeting. Yeah, and we have to we have to address it like a drug addiction. I think addiction is actually the way it is going because unlike you and I who experienced email in our 20s. That sounds like fun. Sounds like motorcycles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's vroom, vroom. Um, un Unlike you and I who experienced our 20s, these kids are growing up with it. Yes, so it's probably wiring their brains in a very different way than yeah, ours Yeah, I've always were. wondered that. So when think you, about video game addiction. Think about yeah. that kind of... It, I I do see it become potentially becoming a very big health issue when you give a two-year-old an ipad yeah and and they know how to click on it better than you and then i saw a video years ago of a two-year-old they gave the two-year-old a magazine and it was clicking on the magazine like it was an ipad and it wasn't reacting because it was a magazine so the the two-year-old got upset because it was so used to an ipad uh, you need to send me that link, sir. Okay, uh, I, I'll have to find it. It's yeah. been it's been a couple of years, but the point is, what does that's wow. this is a this is a very side no. tangent. But well, look, this is all related. These yes, the thing about not conscious that you and I have talked about is this isn't just a this isn't a bitch session. This is us finding a challenge in the world that we would like people to just be a little more vigilant of, and maybe open their eyes a little bit to uh, something they're not aware. Absolutely, that's all. But I've always wondered. When, when you, and I'm not a parent, so I have, I have no, this is completely a neutral statement. What happens to a child at the, at a very, very toddler age, barely out of diapers. And you give that toddler an iPad or a whatever tablet to, Hey, Jesus, I just need to make dinner. 
I'm just going to give the baby the iPad for a half hour. Okay, well, if that turns into half hour every day, half hour, five days a week, that child is conditioned, is, re, is, is, is raised with that in their hand. So what does that do to the development of the child's brain and emotions and psych, psyche? I, I, I don't know the answer to those questions, but I'm very, it's very, that, I find that very interesting. An analogy, if I may. Mm -mm. Back in the day, you when you and I were growing up, we had these televisions that were called cathode ray tube televisions. Yes, CRT. I mean, a twenty inch was a a twenty five inch TV was big. I think the biggest you could get was like thirty five. Thirty two. Thirty two. Thirty five tops. And the thing was a behemoth. Did you have to hit it on the side? (laughs) Yeah, of course. The rabbit ears, the tinfoil, all that. Okay. These big glass, it, the thing weighed hundreds of pounds yeah. and it was only, you know, we have a 55 inch TV yeah. diagonal that you can pick up like and throw like a Frisbee now. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's ridiculous. It took three of us to get this thing just because it's the glass in the front, just yeah. the side. Okay. So we had those. We couldn't put those in our pockets and leave. But I remember how addicted we got to television. Think about us as kids. Oh, G.I. Joe's on. Oh, you got to go out and play. No, but but, but G.I. Joe's on. And we couldn't record it. It wasn't on demand. If we didn't see it that day, we wouldn't see it. But what did we do? We went outside yeah. or whatever. We didn't take that T. We couldn't take the TV with us. Right. If we could, we'd probably have that same addiction to like to that as, you know, in that strength as they do. Because these screens are portable now. And it'd be great if there was like before age five. It's all education, boring ass, like one plus one equals and then pick the number. Nothing like you can do a little sparkles here and there, but nothing like really the information engaging. overload. Well, not the, the, the entertaining overload, the, the part that makes you feel the good visualization and the graphics right. and all that shit. That's okay. what hooks you. Right. Cause it's, okay. it's pretty mom. It, it, oh my God. Oh, it, the dope blings. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now it's I almost understand. like it's make it just more educational. So it's more C A T equals spe- like the speaking spell or the little thing where you pull the string, right? Yes. Moo. You no, know, it was cool. The C A the, the cat thing. C A D like, Holy crap. Remember? I mean, that was huge for us, yeah. but obviously it's that on steroids, but meth make it just boring educational so that when it's not such a contrast to leave it when you go into the real world, because what you what you see on that screen are rainbows and sprinkles and sparkles and and jimmies and glitter and unicorns, right? Yes. Like puppies and cats. Oh my god, kittens. You the real world is like a dredgy, it's not a fun it's not the best it's not the greatest place in the world. Oh. The world's not the greatest place in the world. The world's know? not the greatest place in the world. But you know what I'm saying? Like I do. We've got bills and we've got you know, mortgages and, and, and stresses and work and, and all these other, you know, interpersonal challenges and getting escape into this screen is so enticing. If, I mean, men and growing up with that, we were so lucky to not, I think I, I think I would be, I'd be in a lot of trouble. See, that's why I never, I never bought a gaming system. So, because I, I, I knew, I, you know, I PS2, PS3, blah, 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 you know, I see the graphics and I'm like, I would be so addicted to Doom and blah, 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 Mortal Kombat. And then the next one comes out. And then, you know, the shit that I see, it's just Final Fantasy 14. Oh, it, it's ridiculous. I would be, that's all I would do. I would get off work and I would do that shit for eight hours. So that's why I never got, I'm like, no, no, thank you. I'm good. My brother and I had an Atari 2600 growing up. And I was always pissed. My dad would not buy me. One. It would have probably been 79 or 80. My brother was 71, same year as you. So yeah. that would have been probably when it was eight, probably 80. So he was nine and I was six or so, but you know, that went away over time. Obviously. Right. The cartridges, whatever, 83, 80, 45. Yeah. Atari, Atari dumps. They just, poof, they, they dump all those ETs into the dumpster and whatever. Uh, the ET games, if you yeah. remember that. Anyway, so the next one's Nintendo. Now, I didn't, I didn't get, there was a big gap between the 2600 and when I got a Nintendo. I got a Nintendo as a gift because I flew out of a car at 50 miles an hour. Shit. Not because, like, you know what I mean? Not because you had an A gift. on your report yeah. card? 
funny story. It was a gift from my mom's boss. The Van Halen guy? Matthew's mother. Wow. Yeah. She gifted me a Nintendo. The NES, the original yeah, NES with the yeah. you know, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B A B A start. Um, <laughs> um No, I was gifted that because I was it was nineteen eighty and I had a broken leg and I was in a body cast for for months. So it's yeah. like that's how I got a gaming system. I didn't do it to get a gaming system, but no that's crap. how I got it. I don't think I would have had it. But then that actually did get me hooked. I got the Genesis. Yeah. I got the PlayStation 1. I got the Xbox. I didn't get the original Xbox, Xbox but then yeah. I went to Xbox 360. I still have one. And then the X and then the S and then the... And now there's the newest one. I told Megzi, I'm done. I'm not buying the newest. There's a new one that's coming out now or that just did. And I think PS5 just came out. And I'm like, nope, done. I am, I'm just cutting it off because I'm, you know, I got to turn my hat back around. Yes, you do. Did I tell you? No. About the hat thing. No. I think I know where I heard it from. Okay. George Carlin. The but, man. But he said 10 years old. Yeah, yes, you forward. sent me the video. Okay, I did send yes, you the video. Yes, okay, yes, I just yes. want to be clear. Yes. Just, hello, Twitter world. Just to let you know, we were talking about turn, when, when a man should turn his baseball cap around. And I made a joke about at 40, he should turn around. But I think I might have stolen that from George Carlin, so I want to give him the credit. He's 10 years old. May he rest in peace. He said 10. Yeah. Could you could you help me out here, guys? I bet you Eddie, Vinny, and Timmy are going to beat the crap out of Kyle and Todd. 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 Kyle. What else is in your notes? Um, well, so this was the question. D- do you remember the when they asked, what's the problem? I do. Did you have a single word that just popped in your head? Is there a problem? And what's the problem? That's the quote that they said. Yes. And obviously they all know there is one. And then the guy, the person reiterated, well, what is the problem? And that's when the guy chuckled, Tristan chuckled, and then it cut in. Did you have a thought right away? Well, it's the same thought I had going into it is greed. And it's the top, the way I see it is it's the top, it's the board of directors of each company doing whatever is required to maximize shareholder wealth. I, I don't, I mean, and borderline, everyone can see it. You know, it's, it's unethical what they're doing because they understand that there's a psychological and an emotional impact that each app is having on each person. They, they know that it's a fact. Is that, do you, do you agree that it's a fact? Yeah. So, uh, 100%. I, I think the real question is, do these social media companies have an, a moral or ethical obligation to... Be moral and ethical. Yeah. <laughs> to not be dicks. To not be evil, like they removed it. Like that, but except different, but totally except, the same. Except the same, but different. Interesting. You went to the corporations. Well... Because this... I swear to God. Well, real quick. Real, real quick. quick. Go ahead. T-shirt time. No, you were going to say, well, what? You're, you had a thought, so. I, I, it's the same thought I had when I, when I before I even started watching it. Because I already, I kind of. So it's greed. And, and, it's greed. Yeah. It's, it's all, everything revolves around money. And that's, it really, it sucks. Because it doesn't, man, money doesn't make you happy. And the rich are already rich. How much more rich do you need to be? Excellent points. I, I find it interesting because I don't it it's the algorithms were written but we use them. So like it's funny because the second they said what's the problem, I went, humans. <laughs> Cause that's the truth. That's the answer. The he Tristan says it's like a thing without a name, right? Remember it's like a it's the center, but it doesn't have a name. It does. It's human monsters. Humans, bro. And that's nothing wrong. They're just using our deficiencies against us. They're the algorithm. We're typing, we're telling the algorithm how to change us by what we input into it. Yeah. Yeah. I like Slayer. Oh, here's another video by Slayer. Right. Yeah. I know. Okay. So none of it, 
in my opinion, none of it is even the problem of the greed. Because if we were more vigilant, like you and I sometimes try to look behind the curtain or look for the strings or try to squeeze extra toothpaste out of the tube, we, we try to look for the system behind yeah. And all these things are blowing up around us. This is a very weird time in our world. Yeah. And it's because no one decided, they all decided to look all at the same time. <laughs> right? Is it, is it me or did or they all just go, okay, here's everything. I, everything just went to shit. We've been gradually watching these changes happen going, is everyone aware of this? Yeah, but we, we're busy over here. You know, it's like, you know. Pay no man to the mind, man behind the curtain or yeah. don't look at my left hand. Just look at my right hand. I'm going to distract you while I pickpocket you or whatever. Yeah. And it's humans. That's not a bad thing. We have been, we have been evolved over hundreds of thousands and millions of years. But computers and technology in 50 years they said 100 quadrillion times yeah. the processing power. It was crazy. 100 quadrillion. I don't even know what that even number process is. process that in your brain. I don't even know what that number is. Yeah. 100 quadrillion, whatever. The one guy said trillion, but according to the graph, it read 100 quadrillion. Yeah. I remember that specifically. It was crazy. I recall. And we've only evolved 50 years under roofs. And whatever. We haven't evolved at all. We have not evolved the way that has. That is done. That's been 99. It's done in 50 years with like 99% of our evolution has, right? Because we're, you and I believe within 20, 30 years, we're going to have that Turing test passed, right? Where oh, that yeah. AI is going to sound just like a human being. Oh, yeah. And right? look like it and feel and look, like what, it. Yeah. All that. But on a phone or in some kind of communication, I will not know that it's not a person, right? Sex bots, bro. Oh, sex bots. Hashtag sex bots for Woodsy. <laughs> Woodsy bots. <laughs> <laughs> Sex box for oh, hashtag sex box for Woodsy. That's so funny. We're gonna have to. So we're gonna have to. We need to. We need to get our merch side up. Okay. okay. Hello, Twitter world. If anyone knows about merchandise, we like to boo make can Teespring koozies. dot com. Yeah, but Teespring, their quality shirts kind of really suck. okay. Yeah, I'm a little. I was a little disappointed. Okay. I've heard some things, but I've heard they're a good company. I'm not slandering the company. Right. I'm still looking because there's like, you know, you, your beer googles it, and you're like good company for merch and then there's like eight of them and then you have to read all of them and they, they use this and not that and you know me i have to go on each rabbit hole on their own and i i know what so basically to summarize you believe the earth is flat yes okay. it is absolutely just flat. like a plate actually you know what i think it's like a bowl like i think it's bowl. actually i think it's like louisiana like a cereal like, bowl like or, like, like, or like a like no okay like a popcorn bowl <laughs> all the nuts where the nuts out, like a nut bowl. All the nuts is hanging out in there. Huh. Um. So what are we? So talking? you don't think there's a problem? No, no, there is a problem. But it's humans are the problem. Well, the problem is that this thing, the technology, is getting smarter than us, and knows us better than we know ourselves. Because we don't do a lot of introspection. All they do is look yeah. at us. It's calculating what we're doing all the time. When do we ever pay attention to what we do? Hardly ever. Like, we, we do stuff. How, you ever go to work and you go, how the hell did I get here? Yeah. I don't remember even making a left turn. And it was automatic. You were safe as all get out. There wasn't right. a problem. But you literally just do not even recall getting to work. Yeah. And you weren't even drunk. Com not that morning, <laughs> but right. I mean, yes, we, we have these lapses where we just lose it, right? It's yes. Like us allowing ourselves to be so distracted is keeping us from seeing where problems can arise. Agreed. You and I have hesitated doing things because we've foreseen the impact that it could cause someone. Of course. Like we don't hurt them or this or that or the other, right? Like, not many people look ahead. They're just kind of, I mean, living in the now is a great thing, but you got to see where there's going to be some potholes on the way. And I'm, I'm a, after watching the social dilemma, the way they know how to use us, they won't even need to have a drone army. They'll just turn us against each other. Uh, haven't. We'll just have a civil, I mean, but a real civil, they'll just do it. Hasn't that already begun? Yeah, it's, it has. 
there people are literally concerned have mentioned civil war and these aren't alarmist people these are like level headed people go it it could happen yeah I, a friend of mine mentioned that to me it's a little scary yeah and i i i thought i didn't know what he meant like you mean what do you mean like civil war he means like 1863 civil war and i went wow there are a couple, and I don't want to be an alarmist. I'm not one of them. Right, not of course. Do it. And look, we are intrigued with conspiracy theories because we're interested in looking behind the veil or seeing if there's more information. Yeah. We're just curious people. You and I, we're very curious. But hearing just the words of a war, just very uneasy, man. Absolutely. It doesn't bode well for anyone. Correct. And that's done. There's not, I mean, there is injustice. But the way it's being manipulated and enhanced and put under a microscope, then thrown back in your face, lit on fire and thrown back in your face, we could have a civil war and no one's even talked to anyone yet. Like, no one's even talked to anyone. All they've done is talk to the respective machines. Yeah. The machines are telling us who knows how far. That AI has gone to say something it wants to tell us, like to manipulate, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, and they mentioned in the show the overthrowing of different governments yes. in, in, you know, third world. And and then that's not, to, just to say that it's a third world country, that's not, it could easily happen in the U.S. or in, in, a, in a first world country. Germany it, yes, got you. Hitler, and yeah. that was a democracy. That was a, there was a voted, there was an election. There was a free election. And he manipulated behind the scenes to get to kind yes. of collaborate. So, right. but how far are we from it? I mean, our system's a little different. It would have to be martial law kind of thing. It would be, it would have to be a, you need the military's help for sure. Yeah. But not saying you couldn't get it. It's just as easy. You could vote somebody in like that. I could see it. I mean, I can't see it, to be honest. No. And, and I love when, to think when, we're when, different, but. When Will said Civil War, I immediately thought, I thought tanks in the streets. And I was like, oh my God. Checkpoints. Yeah, like, I don't, do I really want to be, no, I, I do I really want to be in a, a war like that? No, yeah. obviously I don't. Uh, so. And what's crazy is like, we're America. We've been the antithesis of the world. Like, we've been what the world isn't the first ones to really recognize individual rights and freedoms yeah. in, in their government to make the government serve them for once. Right. And we're not anymore. The people that get elected have lobbyists that, that they serve. They're not serving the people. No, no side. It's sad, is. right? That isn't, and that's not politics. We're just talking, we're not getting political with the specific parties, but none, no one no one who gets kickbacks can be 100% unbiased. They're they're owned. Yes. Burn it down, bro. Why well, don't <laughs> I know you said we can't I know. we can't burn it down if we want something to replace we it. Need, so let's get back to your notes. We need a system. Yeah, and no. So it just was it was humans. Okay. Just so the answer's humans. Which goes to the next question. Have the humans lost control? I know we've touched on it. Is that a yes or no? I say yes. Okay. And the reason I say yes is because most of humanity doesn't know anything about the control itself. So we've already lost because they don't so even know So there's very it few people that understand the, 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 the algorithms What's and going the way on. things work. Right. Aren't they talking about a few hundred total people? Yes. In all of them, in all of FANG, that's Facebook, Amazon, uh, I don't know what N stands for. Uh, oh, Netflix and Google. Okay. Fang. F A A N G. It's Facebook, oh. Amazon. Ugh, the other one. I don't care, dude. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I, I don't. Oh. But that's okay. Fang, uh, Netflix, and Google. Anyway, the, we, we don't even know that there's a control system in place. We, as in most humans, don't. They just think they're giving us what we what they want. They don't know they're being funneled into that little cattle prod thing yes right they don't know they're being guided a human funnel right so how do they so we've already lost control because we don't even know we've 
never well no but have those have those hundreds of people that know the algorithms lost control of the algorithms they still own them as in they're contained in their servers and whatnot and they can pull the plug right so it'll turn off but would they while ever, running would they ever pull the plug if it became dangerous to them probably. yeah right right but not that i'm just saying like they i'm trying to figure out the right way to say it um they have lost control in the fact that they they even stated in the documentary that they didn't know which direction it would go right so there's a loss of control yeah because you would think ultimately at the end of the day you as the human would it couldn't go certain other places you would limit it to yeah, where you, you have want a it to go. Correct. Or you'd know. Yes. Or you could say one plus one equals two. So two times two equals four. Four plus three is seven. Okay, it's going to go here. And then it drops into eight instead of seven. You're like, where the, how the fuck did that yeah, happen? Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, you lost control. Yeah. You lost control of that system. Now, the thing is, like I said, you unplug it, it's done. All right, what else we got? <laughs> well, we answered, I had regulation. And the yeah. other um, other so, comment. So what do you think? You don't think it should be no, regulated? No, because the government's just as fucked. Yeah. So fuck off. Right. Um, I agree. I, I And when I talk about humanity, we need to regulate ourselves. We I, do. Yeah. To your point. And I don't. Don't let your children get hooked on this stuff. Well, yeah. But I also think that the government, if, if the government steps in, I think they'll do a shitty ass job. And I think that th- I think that the social media companies have so much money they can buy whoever they want. Right. I don't disagree. With so, you. I, I I believe it. I believe that regulation should somehow happen. However, seeing that they won't or haven't, and that they've protected you, they've protected the government, or the government's protected. Have you seen the clause? I think it's two hundred three, paragraph two hundred three C or something. It's like it protects. Twitter, Facebook, and Google, for anyone who posts on that, they are not liable at all. They're the company who allows you to post it, and they're not liable for what you post. But you are, as the end user of Twitter. How do I, I'm going to control what some Jamoke in North Dakota is t- saying? Like, that doesn't make sense, right? It's, there's, a, there's a divide in logic there. I got you. But go ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, regulation. I just don't, I don't, I don't think, I think getting the federal government involved, well, besides the fact, these companies are global. They're not, they're not, I mean, they may be based in the U.S., but they're not, it's not a U.S. institution. People all over the world in every country have accounts on these apps. So how could the U.S. government regulate them? So I, I have an issue with, China regulates by not allowing their yes. people to get them. How we would regulate would be monetarily. So taxing, putting ta- the the one gentleman said putting taxes on certain things. Yeah, I watched some things later. I went down more rabbit holes, but taxing percentages of the revenue wouldn't make every advertiser want to just go to everyone. Right now, because it's the wild, wild, it's free. Yeah, they just they all try to go get it. But if you tax them on what they got, they might be more specific targeting versus shotgun blasting yeah. in a way. I, that's part of it. But that's the way to do it here. It would be monetarily. There are no restrictions in a not allowed to post, no restrictions in that way. However, the the company is should the company be allowed to shadow ban? Do you what are your thoughts on that? No, of course not. Because they're their platform is that they are free speech, right? They yeah. at least claim it. Right. But they shadow man because they have an agenda. Yeah, of course. So how how do you unregulate that, that they do that? I, I th- So the whole point about regulation, I don't think the government can, I don't think they can handle it. Well, effectively, efficiently, at well. I mean, I think it may come to that and that I don't, I'm not okay with that. So I think the common man and woman has to, we're the ones that are going to have to do something about this. So that's where I think there's going to have to be a groundswell movement to get the companies to get their shit together and not manipulate us. That's, that's the only, and I don't see that happening because everyone's addicted. 
Right. So it's on us. Yes. It really is on I, us. That's right? what I, I believe. That's the, the end game. And that's why, that's why when the question is, what's the problem? It's us. I don't mean it like we're the, we're not bad. We are just human and they know how we tick. So we need to tick differently. Would you compare it to a tobacco company or a, a, Yes. Because they Well when doctor when doctors are getting paid and smoking going, Oh, these lucky strikes are gonna be really good for you. Well, they They knew it was bad. They knew it was bad, they didn't say anything. Right. So are the social media companies the tobacco companies of the seventy five years ago? Yeah. Or the you know, like were they the oxycotton companies of twenty years ago? Where they, you know, they paid doctors and hospitals to give out these fucking drugs, which they knew were addictive. What I think is slightly different is I truly believe the intent was to get engagement, to bring people together. I don't yes. believe the intent was evil. And I don't even think it's evil now. The problem is humans have now interacted with this algorithm yeah and now told it what we want and it knows pretty well what everybody kind of wants by what they click on and what they see yes and we're allowing that yes so i give an example um mark kelly wants to take your guns he does and i go i respond how do i respond well if your wife was killed by a gun you might have a different opinion that person I'm hoping obviously thinks that I'm anti-gun, right? They would assume that, yes. Right. So I zag, bro. You're good at that. I'm just saying, I consciously zag a lot. You know how to control me? Tell me, like you can opposite manipulate me. I yeah. just do. I'm just. Not, I know how to control you. Yes, Mark. I dare you not to order that waffle. Yes. Oh, he well, orders two waffles. Even if you dare me to order one, I'd still do it or not do it i don't even know yeah you would yeah but basically don't tell me what to do and i'll do it tell me or tell me not to do it and i'll probably do it so like especially when it comes to speech or some kind of individual right that's how you manipulate me is tell me not to do it right mark, don't vote for mark kelly don't oh. don't text back stop right now <laughs> but you understand i am almost a 180 of humanity don't in that call way. me sabian I've lost many years of my life being the antithesis, right? Like the contrary person. Yeah. You and I are, have always kind of looked at it from that way, right? right. Yeah. So we see how it's been, how they, when, when I say they, it's just, we're the minority in this case, um, how humanity interacts and stuff. And we're like, oh, that's dangerous. We know, we know it's bad. We know it's where it's going to lead and we know how it's going to lead. Yet we know we could be manipulated totally just exactly the opposite. If they did to us the exact opposite of what they're doing to everyone else, I guarantee I'd do exactly what they want me to do. Get the same result. You just got to, it's what is your motivation? It, they got about 90% of humanity's motivation down. Yeah. And they're really good at it. It's kind of scary. And, and the, to your point there, they're not even touching the buttons. Like it's funny because they had the three guys like acting like people. It's a freaking computer program. It's AI, it's worked, dude. Right. It's not even. It's not even conscious. So when we talk about intent, right? The intention wasn't bad, but our use and how we just love getting angry versus bringing people. We like tearing apart versus putting together. Yes. More. Yes. It's a power. It's a more powerful energy. Yes. That's kind it, of it, humanity's it, fault, isn't well, it, it? That it, we allow that to get us more amped up. But that also, the 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 posts and the feeds and the pictures and the tweets that incite outrage use more screen time because you're you're more into it, right? But the ones that have a puppy and a flower, you're like, oh, like, and you, and that's it. True. But the one that gets but you upset. That's the recurring videos of the puppy and the and the kitten. Because you do have a couple people who are yeah. just puppy, puppy kitten. Me. Kids. Yeah. That's, oh. I'm the only one, I guess. I love you, man. All the, all the chubby faces. Smooshy face. All the smooshy chubs. So your point to that, though, is... That, that a negative or 
a comment or a picture or a tweet or whatever that is upset someone or incites a negative emotional response will suck that person in and have, and, and there'll be more screen time, which is exactly what these companies are looking for. And the puppy picture will be like, oh, that's cute. That's it. But this tweet that's 124 words will fucking send somebody through the roof. Ruin your life. F- yes. And you'll be like, oh my God, I can't believe Joe Rogan said. <laughs> and you're just, dude, it's, it's a sentence, bro. Who, God, calm down. What difference does it make, man? <laughs> Yeah, well, it's part of the tribalism too. Absolutely, We're they mentioned that team. as well. Um, polarization. Polarization. Well, yeah, it was funny the news articles about uh, how the censure is losing part, losing participants, and the left and the right were gaining in Europe or whatever. And so, like, because this thing pulls you to a side, it does not keep you in the middle. Because the middle is not where anybody wants. That's not where advertisers are. The advertisers who, for example, let's just use it. Let's just use guns. Advertisers and guns. We know. I was thinking Adidas and you were thinking guns. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think everybody wants Adidas. Okay. Oh, oh sorry. See, Regardless, that, left, that right, center. Point. Well, Run DMC liked them. Yeah. They wrote a song about them. But then I think like, I feel like uh, Marilyn Manson would be cool in a pair of Adidas too. I would think so too. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Charles right? Manson and Marilyn Manson. Charles and Marilyn. Yes. Sneaker. Bill. All the Mansons. Yes. Yeah, so the whole family. <laughs> The whole, not the Partridge family, the Manson family. All right, are they yeah. free Mansons? Yes, and Masons. Oh, more like treasure protectors. <laughs> no, uh, Nicholas Cage sighting. I would like the Nicholas. Oh, I texted you Cage all the restaurant eggs. pieces. I like the Nicholas Cage free eggs omelet. Did, yes, did, I know. What do you think? I think it's delicious. I, should we do a beer Googles on that we entire sh- list? Fuck yeah. And then we'll add a couple? Yeah. Okay, you need to you need to come up with a couple menu items. I'm not good well. about that kind of stuff, dude. We're going to have the beer Googles I need, I'll have to come up with some Mexican ones. I'd like my Vladimir Putin, please. <laughs> what? You want Vladimir Putin? No, Vladimir Putin likes the carrots with the gravy and the fries, please. Um, What are we? Oh, so I'm an advertiser of X. I'll change it. Okay? No, that's fine. No. I'll change it to red hats with white writing on them. You know what a dick who is advertising or to yeah, whom all those the people with red girls hats on my with Facebook white, white writings on. And you're also looking to advertise masks to cover your face. You know what side you're advertising. Do you see what I'm saying? I like, do. That's the extremes matter. That that's where they want us. They and want I'm us, not there. No, we're so I'm in the middle buying Adidas, bro. You and I are buying Adidas, bro. My yeah. Adidas. Your Adidas. I just bought Adidas. some new Adidas golf shoes. That's very nice, man. Yeah. Did you break them in? No. Or did you, not yet? Not yet. Oh, I On sale, been, last year's model. Might have been when you got your on the last round. Shit. You should have just told me. I would have believed terrible, it. Bro. I would have believed it. You should have just told me that you broke it in that, that day. I've been like, that's what it was. No, I can't blame the shoes, man. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be, you're gonna be an honest person with me, sir. Okay. All right. What else we got? No. The last comment I have, sir, is which really I really thought this was eye opening. <laughs> no pun intended. After I tell you my sentence, <laughs> how do you wake up from the matrix when you don't know you're in the matrix? I thought that was very interesting, and I pictured myself in one of those tubes, you know, the, with all the goop. Attached to all the tubes, and you're asleep. You you don't know you're in the matrix. You're eating a steak, but you don't know that you're in the matrix. And what did they say in the matrix? If you weren't one of us, you're one of them. Remember, it was if you're not part of us, the freed minded people, you were part of the system or part of the slaves. Because not knowing that you are is just as bad as being. Yeah, because you don't know any better, but we know. We know it's evil, right? "Quote unquote" evil. Yeah. Why do you think? Why do you think I love the Matrix, man? It is. It's all about the red and blue pill. Because it's steak and cipher. Oh God, I love that scene. Um, I still question whether I wanted to take the blue pill. 
Oh, absolutely. And I'll, I'll get, I'm going to get probably very emotional about it, but don't. The red pill is a lot to swallow. I mean, don't, when I hear a genius tell me they don't want to hear about bad things because it's just going to distract them from life, I'm like, God, I wish I could do that. Right? Not right. give a shit? I don't know if it's not give a shit or just prioritize my life better. But like, no, but I, I feel like humanity is light. That's where I, I feel like I'm doing that for humanity. But I feel that guy's living a lie, dude. Yeah, that's my point. He's living for his family and he's living for his job and all that. That's great. Fine. I'm like living for fucking humanity. Why am I burdened with that feeling? Yeah, like, no, I get I, it. Dude. I know that sounds like, I mean, I might have to lay on his couch for a second, but okay. like, why? Don't tell me about your father. Why do I feel burdened with, like, I don't know why I feel that semi weird responsibility for humanity. We're sitting here talking about this. It's a, it's a Wednesday night. You and I could be eating Cheetos and drinking whiskeys at our respective homes, watching porn and masturbating. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like uh, we could be doing what? anything but this right now. We could be. T- <laughs> I had oh, to throw it God. Look, it was, I don't know. Porn and masturbation seem right. Just, it just felt like the right thing to say, man. Sorry. But we could be doing anything and we're talking about this because like we honestly care. Yeah. And, and the truth is we've touched, I know we've touched at least one, one or two people like in in a heartfelt way and we've, we've commented or we've, we've actually communicated with them or they've reached out to us and it's, it feels, it feels nice, but like, that's all we want. Just that one person heard something like this is amazing to us. Yeah. That's where the technology is in our benefit. You and I are here on a Wednesday in Arizona and on November 6th at 1 a.m. here for uh, 3 a.m. Eastern. I think, no, not yet. I think they flip it the next not until four, not until that weekend, not until that Sunday, right? Halloween night, sir. Oh, that's, but when we release, it'll be after then. Correct. So yeah, so we'll be at three o'clock. Yeah. Yes. Two hours. Yes. Two hours. So it'll be three Eastern, 3 a.m. Eastern and we're going to release it and um, it's going to go out to the world in milliseconds. That's pretty cool technology. That's crazy, isn't it? And we could have one person go, oh my God, I haven't heard them since, because we didn't do the election night, heard them since last week. Maybe someone's addicted to Woodsy. Stop it. Yeah. You know, ladies, he's still singing. God, he's just such a dick. Woodsy's such a handsome, beautiful man. If I weren't taken, you know. You wouldn't touch me. Well, yeah, you're right. No touching. I go after other people. T-Bone. T-Bone. T-Bone, you want ice cream sandwich? Um, but no, that we, that we touch like one person and then we get a message on our phone that shows us because they go, Oh my gosh, right when I was looking for something, boom, you had a, you had a top, you talked about it last week and it just synchronicity, right? It's yeah. Boom. And that's all done in a min- 10 minutes. That's the greatness of this stuff. It's just not being utilized for its greatness as, as the tool it's designed to be. It's kind of got a mind of its own. Now it's like an entity. Sadly, that is correct. Yeah. And the only, I feel like the only way to fix it is to unplug it and start anew. Like, or start anew, then unplug it, obviously. You know me. I, I'd like to have a system in place before uh, I'm not going to. I like that plan. System. I vote for you. <laughs> what else you got on your list? That's a, I've, I'm done, man. No, you're not. Yeah. But I. That's lies. I reached out to you're Tristan. You're not through your list yet. Negative. Oh, it is. Oh, thank you, uh, Ricky Shortstop. Ricky Shortstop, we thank you. Yeah, it's just all the list of the people and then what they said. Okay. Um, but basically, so, what's the problem was the one where it's just like, when they go, what's the problem? And these geniuses who created all these systems laugh or scratch their head or go whatever. There's a real fucking problem. <laughs> So you truly believe, so my, my question, whenever we talk serious stuff, I always think, where do we go from here? That's what, I, that's because, okay, there's, there's a lot of information. It's a lot to digest. You know, you can, you can, you can align 
with me and say, oh, it's greed or it's the it's the companies being evil. You can align with Checkmark and say, oh, it's humans. We're we're fallible and we're using these things that we don't have to use. Or you can think something completely different, right? Okay, where do we go from here? Do we continue as a human race? Do we continue down the same path and be addicted to these social media applications? Do we, what, what do we do as a human race? Would you like to answer first? Or you no, just I have no me? idea. So I'm you have no idea. Go. I like to be solutions oriented. I don't like bringing up problems without at least some kind of solution. Right. We've talked That's about, why I have you here. Yeah, we talk about partial, um, partial government regulation, specific regulation that I'm going to talk about in this case should help right off the bat. They mentioned in the thing, Saturday morning cartoons were protected. Yeah. They weren't advertising cigarettes and beer Saturday mornings or whatever, right? Yeah. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was protected for like cereals yes. and whatever yes. children. Now there's this whole YouTube for kids. That's not regulated the way television was regulated. So they're getting all these other ads for things that are manipulating them. So that that's one very clear way. No ads on fa- YouTube for kids. Not a single advertisement. All not not one read in a video, nothing. Not advertising, not for children. Advertising driven? No. I I yeah, I would agree with that. The one thing you and I have started this whole thing with is protecting children. Yeah, for sure. Like we, we don't have, even have kids. We don't even have kids, Ridiculous. and we feel this because I think I think it's part of our childhoods. Probably, probably, but probably, <laughs> um, probably want a cracker. Uh, no, I it is part of our childhood, but like we felt hurt. I think in some ways, of course. Well, it doesn't every child at and, some point. And but obviously, you and I felt hurt and see the world differently to the point where we don't want to see the hurt in others. Yeah, absolutely. Like we will go do. out of our way to try to avoid that. Yeah, we've done it with talking about the church. Yeah, talking even with Michael Jackson on the other side. Right? Yeah, about finding justice. We getting finding the system that's the problem. And children in this case need to be protected. They're not. So addicted children become addicted adults. So somehow that it, it needs to be pinched off there, and then some kind of weaning. Where it's not as impactful, you don't get a starburst every time or the the streaks. What was the Snapchat streak? One hundred fifty. Snap. What was it called? Snap streak or something? Snap Snap streak. I yeah. I, it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. So allegedly, I because I I didn't see it myself, but I this document or this guy talked about it. Yeah, on his TED talk, uh, Tristan talked about it, and. It was how many days in a row you can interact with each other. It's kind of like that sign at work. We've had X amount of days since the our last, last accident. accident, since we lost a limb, yes. you know, whatever. It's like that, right? And it's a score. Just like the send me to heaven app is throwing it up oh as high God. as long as you can or holding the button as long as you can. This is how many days in a row can I communicate with someone? And you keep score. You don't think that I got to keep my, I got to keep my streak active. It's the longest streak. No one else has 1,242 days active. Oh my God. That's like four years, three years. <laughs> <laughs> like Christopher Walken is like, I got this for three years. I got to get on my Snapchat. I can't fucking do it. I can only that do three years. So good. Anyway, but you understand like that is horrible, horrible practice. Yeah. And that, I mean, but that's exactly what it's designed to do is engage you, which it does. But even the guy was saying they're taking pictures of nothing just to keep the streak alive. Yeah. They're the going wall, through motion. The ceiling. Yeah, the wall is ceiling. And you're like, that doesn't sound like a streak. You know, like those incentives aren't, they're incentives for that company. Those can't, those can't be there. But that's still a dopamine hit for that child. But that's the point. If if you somehow negate the sensationalism of it. Yes, absolutely. You know I, mean? yeah, I could not agree more. Does that make sense? Or yes, of course. What if, what if it was this anything after five tweets back and forth, you have to call. Wow. That just popped in my, that that's just pretty good, dude. But then again, I mean, you text I, message back and I, forth. I know. I and, know, you know, it, there, there's some, there's some toughness there. Well, then you at least text, get off that platform. 
that's putting you into echo chambers. Yeah. Right? After five tweets, you go to a third part, you go to a call or text system. I dig it. Still protected phone numbers if you don't know the numbers or whatever. Yeah, WhatsApp, but whatever. Yeah, some kind of there's this hidden thing, but you can you can call and talk it out. Or you can text or you can text it out that's not now driving you even further into holes. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Just little things like I that. I dig it. I, I know that sounds crazy. That'll never happen. Nor would I want that. Like, you know me. I, I am a I am a right to pursue your happiness as long as your happiness doesn't impose on others. This is imposing, though. This is imposing on everyone's life. This is this is an imposition. When you get a text from any agenda driven moron either willing to buy your rental property or get you to vote for a certain way isn't isn't my happiness being infringed upon in this case i'm definitely being inconvenienced yeah i mean you're being bothered for sure right. i'm being inconvenienced yeah especially at 12 4 a.m right that's then, not acceptable and, and and there are people that say that can you know the whole theater roosevelt comparison is the thief of joy there's a little truth. There's a lot of truth to that. I mean, you can change that script, but have you ever heard that phrase? No, I've not. So Theodore Roosevelt is famously known for saying comparison is a thief of joy is a single thief of joy, which okay. isn't that what everybody does? Like, Oh, they went on vacation. Look yeah. At their, look at their picture. Oh my God. My life sucks. Cause their life's so good. Yeah. Right. That is all we are doing. Yeah. It, it's we're keeping score. There's a, there's something wrong with the way we're doing it, but we're not being any better because we want to one up everybody. Cause our evolution tells us I need to show you that I went on a trip cause I need to look more attractive Correct. as a potential mate or as a potential well, alpha or whatever, as higher in the system that we are, we have a hierarchy, but here. you're stepping on somebody else to elevate yourself. I'm not saying that it's right. What I'm saying is we're just giving into our human yes. evolution, yes, yes, yes. which is that. Doing so, we are stepping on, and that's the shit part. But that's, that's true. That's that's been of. happening since the dawn of time. Right. Social media just making it more widespread. It makes it very easy, but yeah. it's it's worse because it, it can be anonymous too. We, at true. least when you had to call me, you had to call me a fuck face, either to my face or on the phone. On call. the on the phone, right? You'd be like, "Yo, hey, hello, Miss Pulls Mark over there. I gotta talk to him." <laughs> Mark, hello. Yeah, Mark, you're fuck face. <laughs> Click. I don't know. But you understand what I'm saying. Like, it, the the anonymity of it and the speed of it and the power of it, our brains are not, we're not, we have 50 years of slow evolution because we haven't changed in 50 years. Not much has right. changed for our environment 50 years. Right. It's, it's As a matter of fact, it's gotten more comfortable. We've probably regressed evolutionarily. And technology's, yeah exponential and we don't know how like to its core we don't know how it works but you and i not knowing how it works concerns us and it makes us kind of fearful of it or at least vigilant or other people like don't even care about it and research it right other people are like yeah. oh it works yeah <laughs> that's not that's not my answer that's yeah. not your answer yeah so. but i also can't i can't fault it completely because i mean on youtube it'll go hey you might like this band. And I go, all right, I'll, I'll try it. Holy shit. I fucking love them. By golly. I do like this band, uh, you know? So yeah, I can't. That's the greatness of it. I haven't bought any of their albums or anything. So it did, did it do any ill will to me? It made a suggestion of a band that it thought I would like. Right. And I liked it. Right. And I haven't spent any money. Okay. I haven't. It was Just kind your of time, which is it the was biggest playing, commodity. It was playing in the background when I was, I don't know, scrubbing the floor. Or something. You spent your commodity of time. However, it was enjoyable, so it wasn't yeah. like you wasted time. But right. You did spend time. Sure. Which is I will I will admit to that. That's all their goal is. Yes. Because the pop ups come in between or halfway through or at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they that did exactly what it needed to. Why would I blame you for that? I'm not blaming. Right. No, I understand. I'm seeing humanity as the problem or as the the issue, not not as fault. Yeah. It's not really fault, right? It's just we are wired this way. They know how we're going to be manipulated. Yes. And they allow it to happen. 
when they initially had the intent of good and everyone was doing it great. The second they found out how bad it was though, because they came to us as companies that were a little more altruistic. Remember like, don't trust the government, trust us. Like there was a lot of that going on. I don't recall that. It's a big, when everyone's like really not trusting, like it was bad. You know, it was probably Bush time, early, you know, before Obama got in. Yeah, it was during the second Persian Gulf War. Yeah, all that. After yeah, 9-11. WM, WMDs, 9-11, yes. the whole thing. We were lied to. That was Remember that whole, there was a huge backlash. Yeah. And we get into the 2000s, right? And 2000 to 2008, is yes. that correct? Yes, yeah. Jew Bush okay. Jr. Yeah, Bush little Jr. Bushy. Right. So that, that's when our technology took off. Yeah, we had a high course. distrust for the government. Yeah. We didn't believe the whole WMD thing and all that. Rom- Remember Rumsfeld and all those douchebag and Cheney shooting his friend in the in the woods yeah, and shit. Yeah, right. Like, all that craziness, right? I forgot about that guy. Yeah. So, like, at that point, that was prime for these other people to come in and go, we'll take care of things for you in a weird way. Like, yeah, I, I guess I didn't under, I just, I wasn't aware of the marketing of social media in that way. Well, it always said it was just being good. It never, never came in it from a business standpoint. Never, of course, yes. It never understood. shared that it was business. Understood. But when they find it's addictive, just like cigarettes are addictive in this world, in this global consciousness that we should have this woke era, isn't that right? Right. When we go, okay, you're right. Cause we can still make money, but that's, it's about more. And more to your point, greed. Yeah. Because the shareholders have to get their stocks up. And if they don't go up this quarter, somebody's getting fired. In order to get stocks up, you have to follow that protocol. The seven likes. Yeah. You have to follow the protocol. You have to follow the protocol. You can't break it. You can't disrupt it. You can't make it less attractive. God forbid people click less on it. I hate when people click less on it. I hate when people click less on it. Guess how much a Facebook share is worth? I did you do this research? I just looked it up two hours ago. Oh, I was gonna ask like, what is each person worth? What is a Facebook share worth? Two hundred thirty-six dollars for one share of stock. Wow! For I cur- thought I was thinking totally different share. Google's way up there, but two thirty-six. That is two hundred thirty-six. And it may American have split. Who knows? Yeah, we don't yeah, know if it's. Split. I only looked at the past split, year, right. and that the it, the the cap was like two fifty, but. My my point is, and this this is not just about social media. I can buy four share every two weeks. Whoa! So my point is that the reason I bring it up is they don't do anything. They don't make anything. They don't. They're they don't. Not a manufacturer. They don't fix baby heart defects. They're not curing diseases. They don't do anything. But one share is worth $236. They connect people, bro. They connect people. Shut the fuck up. So. Well, that's the point, though. When they said you found a long lost relative. You know what I mean? Think about like Ancestry or 23andMe. Right? The DNA thing. I don't. Yeah. Did I tell you what happened with with, uh, my friend Rob, my coworker? No. Um, His mom and dad had a daughter that they gave up for a doctor before him and his brother. Well, his brother and then he were born years before they did not know about it. He only found out two years, two years ago or so. Wow. From 23 and me, his son took, he found de- out from 23 and me, not from his parents. Yep. Oh my God. And his mom had passed. God, God rest her soul. I'll share my part of that story in a second. Cause it's really interesting. Because I have a feeling I know where your head's kind of at. Where's my head at? She doesn't share. She passes. His mother's gone. Yeah. Never, yeah, never yeah, told yeah. him. Right. His son takes a DNA test and says, you have a relative in. A sister. Well, aunt is his, his aunt. But you have X amount of alleles in common with this person. You have a relative in like Illinois so is or something. his aunt or his sister? No, no. It's his. It's my. It's Rob's sister. But I said Rob's son took. The DNA oh. test. Rob's son took the DNA okay, test. Okay, now I understand. Yeah, and I'm not going to say his name. Obviously. Okay. Rob's son took the DNA okay. test. He comes back with like a relative. An aunt. An aunt. 
relative in Maryland in or somewhere, somewhere like Illinois or whatever, mid Midwest somewhere, Chicago, I think area, whatever. And he's like, that can't be right. And then something else comes up and then, and then he, I think he asked his dad and his dad, like, I don't want to talk about it. So Rob knew. And then he, find, well, he asked his dad, he said his dad didn't want to talk about it. And then he opened up and then he shared. So for 40 years, he had a sister he didn't know about. And that's amazing because now he's beginning, he's now made this weird, this connection, right? With a complete stranger who's actually his blood family. And she has two kids now. They're not upset because she had a great childhood with the adopted family. Yeah, right. And, and they had, a, and Rob had a great childhood because they, I don't think the parents, I don't want to speak for them, but they may, they just weren't ready for a child. Yeah, at the time. of course. Who knows, right? Maybe they thought they weren't going to have children. That's something you should tell your fucking kids. Yeah. I, I call my mom about it. And she goes, you be upset that you weren't told? God And I damn. am furrowing my brow and like raising my Spock eyebrow. And would you <laughs> like, like there's no, no tomorrow. I got so angry. And I was just like, if you can't give me the courtesy of an, at an adult age. Exactly. To tell I'm not me, seven mother. To tell me that. And I, I get maybe not 18. I get if you go to college and graduate, then at the latest, though. I can't imagine any later than that. Just because, like, school, what if you get distracted, like, with school or something? You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you have to focus. I get it. But my mom, like, defended the parents. And I, maybe, maybe we're, maybe we are a different time, but, like, that, to me, that's inconscionable. And I'm not, <sighs> look, I'm not calling out the, the, I, whatever reasons they have, that's not my family, not my business. However, I could not imagine if my mom, if if my parents passed, and I find that there was a long lost sibling that they gave up for adoption ten years before my brother was born, or whatever, I'd be like, what? What the fuck? I'd be very upset. I I don't. I'd be yeah. They wouldn't be around to see it, but I would be yeah. Of course. Uh, if they told me now that now that I told my mom, like if they do have one and don't tell me, fire and brimstone. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Because like I've sh- I've made my intention clear. Is like you wouldn't tell me. That is completely unacceptable as an adult. But that's my personal opinion. Obviously, things change. Do you want to hear my twenty three and Me story that has nothing to do with social media? Yeah, but this one didn't really have to. It just had to do with information and getting people together. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, but okay, 23 me. So my cousin, Jose Luis, is into ancestry, and uh, he, he has our entire family tree back to like 1849. It's crazy. All the aunts, uncles, cousins. So he sends me this PDF of the whole branch. It's amazing how much work he's done and he has all these records from when my grand our grandparents went across back and forth the border from mexico to the u.s and all this stuff it's really cool super interesting so i'm on there and my sister's on there and this and that and then it shows my mom my sister's mom since she's my half sister and this other and my dad's the wife prior to my mother and this other wife and i was like what the fuck is this? So apparently my my mother was my dad's third wife. I thought it was his second wife. This what? I was like Yeah, I was like 40 when I got this information. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I call my cousin, I go, "What the fuck is this?" He goes, "Oh, you didn't know?" I go, "No, motherfucker. Why am I calling you? Of course I didn't know." Oh my lord! So he asked his mom. He goes, "Oh yeah, that was Candelaria, or no, Candelaria was my grandmother." So isn't that a light bulb? Yeah. So I go, "Oh, that's a candelabra." Sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was Candy or whatever her name was, and she Candace, died. She died. Candy by she night. died in like 1951. So apparently, my dad was married, and apparently, they got married right when he was going to the Korean War or something like that. And then she passed away right around when he got back. So my, but I'm like, so I call my dad. I was like, don't you think that's something you tell your kids that you had a wife and then she passed away? I mean, that's, I I would think that's something that you would tell your kids 
as you're growing older in age and talking about your life and you sit down with your son when he's 25, 35, 40, and you have a cocktail with the, with the kid and you talk about life and you crack a fucking beer. Yeah. Him, my dad and, and I go, had many hey, drinks together. Many and drinks. Never this kind. I did. I found out because my cousin sent me a PDF, dude. Is your dad's third wife? Is your mom? Yes. And he had a second wife of whom you did not know. I well, I knew her because it was my sister's mother. Okay. So I you saw her okay. come pick my sister up for visitations and shit. Right. But the first one you didn't know. Or no, she died in 1952. No kid. No, not no. Correct. No kids. According to the PDF, there's no kids. <laughs> Or, yeah, I'm not. Gonna I was say like, that. "What the fuck, man?" That's crazy. And my cousin, dude, this I, is the weirdest tangent. My of cousin, media, dude, I love him so much. He goes, "Oh, you didn't know?" <laughs> I just <laughs> how laughed. Did Nina, yeah, how did how I is he like so casual? And then he about talked it. to his mother, my my Nina, my dad's right. sister. And the Pinta, where were the Pinta and the Santa Maria? The they time? were still in the harbor in Long Beach, bro. <laughs> okay, sure. So she goes, "Oh yeah, that was candy. Did this and that, blah blah blah. That they this that the other thing. Your dad, he was in the army, blah blah blah." And she knew all about it. I was like, motherfucker. Maybe she just thought you knew, so it wasn't a thing. Like, I don't think they were whole ever. It sounds like they're so casual about it. I'm like, oh my God, Christopher I quit, found dude. Out. I fucking quit. <laughs> I just pulled up my 23 me. <laughs> I'm crushing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crushing these tests, bro. Oh, man. Hey, <clears throat> who better to evaluate the student than the student himself? Let me tell you about this, my friend. Please, lay it on me, bro. 23 me. Dude, I just we're at 225? Yeah. Son of a bitch. I'll cut it down to 218, 219, <laughs> you know. <laughs> 220, 221? 220, 228, whatever it takes. I keep saying lower because we keep talking longer. But um, hashtag real quick. Can we Dude, end it? 23 me. You know no. what? Fuck it. I'm not going to talk about 23 let's me. Let's do this We're going to close time. it out. Yeah, we're yeah. closing this the fuck out. So back this to- This is a teaser. Let's, let's close down the social media. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Twitter world. I'm going to talk about all my health defects in the future <laughs> episodes. <laughs> I can't. You're going to find I'm ways excited, to dude. attack me. Thank you very much. The glove will fit. Oh, Trust dear me. Lord. So back to social media. It's scary. I think that used as a tool, used properly, and used with vigilance, it, it's very helpful. You and I haven't gotten caught in those traps. Because other than the video that you like anyway, fine, okay, but not into like verbal discourse the way altercations. We won't allow that. First no, of all, I won't so have you it, and I no. are conscious yeah. enough to not allow that. But you and I have kept our nose pretty much clean. We've just been like, hey, I remember somebody goes after podcast recommendations in general. I send them our stuff, and they write back, no, okay, and I'm like, and I, you know what I wrote back? Okay, bro, dot dot dot. That's all I wrote back. <laughs> so like. And what's funny, you know what happened? Someone took my bro, retweeted it, and goes, dude, you asked. Like, <laughs> took ours, like, and that was the thing. Remember, like, people, like, you just got to not engage in people Somebody take retweeted your side. bro? Yeah, because they thought amazing. it was hilarious. Because the guy wrote no, and, and it was another fellow podcaster, because we're all just trying to, we're just squirrels trying to get nuts, bro. Bro, nuts. So the guy's like, he retweets it and says, yeah, you're the one that asked and didn't ask specifically. You asked anyone to have podcast recommendations. Yeah. Ta-da. That is an open door, ladies and gentlemen. If you said, do you have true crime podcast recommendation? I'll just like it. I won't send you something because guess what? We don't have true crime, ladies and gentlemen. Should we do a true crime one? I don't even know how to start. It's I don't even too, I feel know like why, it's too why lucid it was so popular. And too let's move on. Let's not talk about that. No, anyway, social media. Social media. Yes. Let's wrap it up. I think is I think humans need to be more vigilant. I think it is Amen, dude. way yes. much on us. Like to the point, don't click on a recommended video. It, they even say that because you're helping the algorithm by doing that because it's recommending it. You're clicking. It's going, oh, I got, I can, now it gives it more like strength, Creeds. more power. Yeah. It gives it more power in a way. Um, but there's all these little tricks. But just don't, like, don't be callous about it, I think. Know there's, know there's a real person on the other side. Yeah. Know that they want you to think the way they want you to think. And that you're kind of on your own, even though you think that they're looking out for you. It's just vigilance. I'm not saying to attack people, but think that they're kind of a little bit on, like, not on your side. Maybe. That might just make you be more aware about what you're sharing and what you're what you're giving to people. I agree, agreed. Hope you check it out, boys and girls. Good show. Sir. Enlighten your mind and stuff. 
These two mugs are fantastical. I hate being this sexy, but I'm from Czech Republic. I can't help it. And Prague, check me out. Check me out. Check me out. Spelled C Z E C H. <laughs> for a check. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you for the Van Halen pick, dude. It's amazing. I love it. And the ticket. I love you, man. Yeah, please put it, put it, put it somewhere where you can like display it. And you know, this is on the on the heels of Mister yes, Van Halen passing. May he rest Eddie's. in peace. And that was one of his guitar picks. Yeah. He yeah. touched. Kind of cool. Very like, cool. Cool because like I'm nobody. And somehow I got a hand, like a few of them. Just like, you know what? It's just like, we, I, let's close on this, man. Let's yeah. close on this. I feel blessed because you're with me. We're spending two and a half hours talking about random shit, but we're both passionate and love it. Yeah. Just, just love the conversation. Absolutely. We, uh, rub shoulders with people, just Michael Jackson's nephew. Right. Out of the blue. Danny Wu. Danny Wu. Like documentary creators and producers and you're like we we, we literally and I, when i say we're nobody we don't have a low self-esteem we know very well who we are yeah but we're nobody in the in the biz or the industry right been blessed man yeah my life i've had some really cool run-ins with some people when i went through some of the memorabilia that i thought about i've been really blessed and i it's taken me so long to figure that out so i hope that people figure it out earlier agreed and, and very well said and they should tweet that like, yeah Hey, anonymous three three eighty six. I I know you're a human being, and I think you're probably special, and you probably have some gift that you can give the world. Good special, thank you. <laughs> Megsy's gonna make you pay for that one. I don't friend. care. In closing, yes, be excellent to each other. Totally. And party on, dudes. Party on, Wayne. No, the other party on. Uh, did you want to talk through the through this? Because no. It's Miss Garcia. No. Okay. Well, thanks everybody for checking us out. We're going to have another one in a couple of days. It'll probably be a beer Googles. Beer the Googles. Because fun. But this has been a not conscious. Please subscribe. Please follow. Please rate, review. We have got, we're right at, I think we're going to be over 5,000 downloads. We will this. be. We will be. I think by the end of this week, actually. Yes. No joke. Um, we are really close. And thank you to everyone who's just given us a listen. Yes. Gracias. Some people listen a lot more. A lot have a lot less and a lot less. We are grateful to everyone. So thank you again and be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes.